Mic test, mic test. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Buddy Bison stream. I hope we're all having a wonderful day today. I apologize, I was in the bathroom because I did not want to be interrupted during the stream. You know, don't want to have to uh, stop the stream halfway through to 
I'll go do business. Might as well take care of it at the front. But how's it going, Dex? Thanks for dropping by. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing quite well. Uh, Bot wants to hydrate. Right? Yeah, yeah, it does. And I mean, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. You want to stay hydrated. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> Remember, everyone stay hydrated. Yeah, it's a, it's a night bot. It's like on a timer. It's also dependent on the number of chats that have gone in. So it basically immediately starts counting once I put like the emotes in. Um, so it uh, goes decently frequently. But yeah, so we are in the catacombs. We're in chapter six. We have uh, the renegade in our party, which is pretty cool. We can Shadow go dive. under the ground. Shadow dive, as he says. Uh, it's pretty nice. A few nasty memes that were boring as hell, so I had delayed my first affiliate stream. Ah, oh, damn, that sucks. Yeah, well. But I would say it's more important to have a good first affiliate stream than anything. So even if it has to get delayed, as long as the ultimate result is uh, a good one. Like, I don't think too much complaining to can me. happen, right? Let's go. My turn. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. <laughs> okay, let's go in. Now. Let's go. Probably a mini boss here or something. Which is why I stopped. Because when it's easy to tell him, when, when you're looking at a boss arena, it's like, okay, that's a fine place to stop. Because <laughs> I know exactly what's going to happen immediately once I start the stream. Okay, so we got some ghosts, three of them. Three her sisters condemned norms. See, I'm really just, I like rocking around his at all because he has so much more health compared to everyone because of me using literally every single, um, uh, me using every single, um, whatchamacallit on him, uh, like, health upgrade. Okay, and we're gonna use the ult here, he's gonna hit two of them at the same time. It seems like one of the Norn sisters is dead, so that's good. Or actually, multiple. But... Um, two, yoink, yoink, yoink. Do that. Level up. Uh, I'm slowly tempted to stream again, max ass on Justin, but that may not be as fun as it seems to me. Max strength damage. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, right? Where that kind of really repetitive grinding is probably really good for just like a just chatting stream, right? Where it's just like, yeah, you're just doing something mindless in the background, but as like a, a first affiliate stream, something that you want to be like active and uh, something where it's like, oh yeah, people are excited, <laughs> probably would be a little bit of a stretch. And you'll have plenty of time to do those kinds of streams later. Uh yeah, like, eventually, like, as far as I understand, um, what is it, uh, Star Ocean, Second Story, or whatever, there are a whole bunch of, like, side jobs and stuff, so eventually when I get around to that game, that might be one where it's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna do a stream or two, or three, where I'm just leveling up, <laughs> like, random skills, because it seems really, like, it seems a like really in-depth kind of system, um, and it looks quite interesting, but of course, I'm talking about a game that I'm not gonna play for, like, a year, <laughs> because of all the games I have logged, but oh well. <laughs> oh, woe is me. Uh, this place is huge. What is it? It's a catacomb. What could that be? Oh, it's a mural. Of the uh, Norse god or something. It's beautiful. Looks like some kind of ancient mural. That central figure resembles the deity statue outside. That's Grimnir, king of the gods. Since he's wearing a mask, this mural must predate the Hundred Years' War. The figures depicted around him are his demigod warriors. Hmm. Demigods? What are those? 
They were the half-human, half-god servants of Grimnir. Hey, guys, get a load of that. Isn't that... Oh, like Lemurais and stuff. It's... And the two twin moons as well. Yeah. Red moons, this beautiful one. Could it be? Could it be? Yeah, the Nox. Is the monster Nox. Yeah. The Nox? Ooh. Ooh, interesting. Don't those monsters look familiar to you guys? There's no doubt about it. And those people fighting the monsters are Grimnir's demigods. Oh, so I wonder if us getting shot by the bullets turns us into effectively a demigod, which is why it boosts our strength and shit and gives us powers. This must mean that the Grimwald Nox has been appearing since ancient times. So not not only is Adol the pinnacle of humanity, he is also now a demigod. <laughs> I have risen above mere humanity. It's just like a pro has said. But this doesn't give us all the answers. Still. We might learn something important by observing these relics of the past. So, we are getting closer to the truth, right? Something like that. The catacombs go deeper in that way. The sooner we finish searching this hellhole, the sooner we can get out. Yeah, let's get out of here. But, it doesn't make sense. Not that we have much more city to explore, but hey. <laughs> it isn't Monstrums fighting the Lemiris in this. But the demigods, I have even more questions now than I had before. Who's to say the demigods weren't the, uh, weren't hey, monsters? What is that over there? Maybe some more old ruins? It's hard to tell from here. There's no end to the secrets this city holds. There we go. Uh, ah, up there. Gonna have to get out and around, I think. Oop. Okay, yeah, these guys. Yeah, use the guy use the guy use skills on them. Or again, while they're uh, not looking. Oop! Oh, shit! Damn it! <laughs> uh, okay. This one? I can't. Good. Come on. What the hell? Leave it to me. Ah. Yeah. My turn. Okay. I was not expecting to have to go vertical like this, but hey, Something we'll take big. it. Can I? Oh damn, I was hoping I could uh, just go through the um, the side of it. There we go. Over here, bitter remedy times six. Just give me, give me a whole bunch of XP, why don't you? Remedy. It's all going on at all. I'm still sitting on ten levels. Those those levels are getting popped on at all once I'm confident we're in like the final area. Uh Ah, interesting. Hunter's descent. Okay. Same the spot, new location discovered. We're gonna send we're gonna send Taurus down here. Go down to the catacombs. See the Grey Bale Bridge. It was interesting seeing this, because it's not like even just like catacombs, it is like an ancient city. Like I feel like that. I feel like Catacombs kind of does this place dirty. A treasure chest. Blade Ring 3, that's good. There we 
go. 3,000 gold. Acquired. Acquired. Hello there. I'm going to acquire your gold, sir. Okay. Um. Yeah, I went down. Uh, there's still more. Uh, yeah, that way is definitely progress. So let's... Uh, let's keep going this way. Love it. Get it. Onyx Belt. What's that? Uh, da, da, da. Onyx Belt. Onyx Belt. V5% Dirt Fatal Blow. Okay. Not bad. Probably was not how they were imagining you would uh, get to that place, but hey. We'll take it. I do love having the sprint item on it and just running into things now. Because it's just nice. Okay, we got drop. Okay, good. Okay. This. Eagle Eye Orb. Ooh, that's usually... Eagle Eye Orb sounds like a sacramental. Increased mapping range. That's what I like to see. Yeah, boy. Um... Yeah, let's do that. So that'll make it uh, pretty useful. I wonder if they're going to make it so it's like the entire... Um, oh, nope, that's wrong. <laughs> uh, make it so like the entire mini-map uh, is able to be uh, used as like the discovery. Uh, all right. That's always the tough part, determining exactly how much of the uh, screen is... Yeah, see, okay. Yeah, now it's like the entire mini-map. Good. Ow. Good. Okay. Something's here. There we go. Very vertical dungeon. I'm really liking this one. Like these catacombs, very fun. Um, okay. Those over there. Good. Hermit's Remedy. We like that. Okay. And that should be it for around here, which is all we need to worry about. Because if it's not around here, what does it matter? It doesn't. music is like oddly calming it's like it's like a weird combination of like it's like it's obviously like like electric guitar but it's i don't know the chords in it make it not feel nearly as um uh like rocky i guess i would say okay there we go 
Actually, you know what I want to do? Prisha's been in for a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap Anamona to a Strike Talisman. And give her the skill warrior thing. So I can have her in the party. Yeah. Do you know what? I like Animona. I like Doll. He's fun. There we go. Good. Uh, what's up there? And I do like this as well, where it's like, hey, it, it it's a very it's an artsy symbol, right? It doesn't look strange, but it's obviously an arrow. <laughs> and it's like, oh, it could be just a sigil, but no, it's it's an also an arrow. <laughs> so like, follow the arrow, please. <laughs> and I I, I think I feel like I like that a lot better than what some other games would probably do, where it's just like, oh yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna make it be a um, make it be like yellow painted break down the barriers screw these walls we break these walls Okay, full potion. That's another glass bottle. Once I get around to using any potions, I don't think. Have I even used a potion? I think I've only ate food when in uh, when in dire shut. needs. There must be something we can do to open it. Okay. Yeah. How about I just smash everything in sight? No, Yufa. We might end up breaking something important. Okay. Just testing out every single one of these. Okay, fire. Over here. Fire. Okay. Good. Yep. There we go. <laughs> it's like, hey, I just need to I need to watch these in case the it got, like puts it out. Right, because there might be like a proper order to do it. Okay, yeah, there is an order, but it doesn't seem like it uh, is like a resetting order. Like, oh, you got to do it here, 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 and here in this order. And if you don't do it in that order, it puts them all out. That would be the annoying kind. But luckily, they decided not to be that annoying kind. Um, ow, dick. Um, ah. And, uh, ah, here we go. Come on. No, split. You mustn't overexert yourself. Uh, Mystic Lazulite. Oh, Let's do that. Let's do that. And that goes over there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I want to map out just the rest of that. So, I'm going to come out here. And I'll come back here. Okay, there we go. Just made sure. Yeah, the mapping tool is going to be useful. I think more for other areas. Because, I mean, here we've... We 88.2 and then probably some more over there. Um, 
But I mean, it's like, yeah, there's big areas like this. Luckily, I've already gotten all of this in here. So it's probably not going to be the most useful sacramental, but it'll still be nice. Because it'll... If you remember last stream, I was like going back and forth over and over trying to like map everything out. Now with this, it's like, okay, that'll be uh, a lot less now. Uh, not that it was ever too big of a deal. Um, a detail map. There we go. And I have all the treasures, so we're doing pretty good. Let's save... Leave it to me. Understood. Switch! Switch! It is another enormous room. Surprise, surprise. Look, Adol. There's another mural. Um. Oh, it's this guy. It's the wall bug. No, it's this guy. It's the recurring boss. Oh, they brought back some old time. That's not a mural. It's a sculpture. <laughs> dot dot dot. Oh, they brought they brought back some oldies in this game. Wow, I was not because they also brought the back the bat boss. Okay, this bastard. A primordial from what was it? East. Uh, it's from it's an origin, but it also. Like it predates the oh god, what other one is it in? You're right. In one of the other ones. Other Might be in there. one. This one's a hell of a lot more realistic. It looks like it'll come to life at any moment. Careful. Uh, what was that? What's causing it? <laughs> You're ready for battle. <laughs> this day keeps getting better and better. What does Adol think about this? Where it's like repeats of bosses that he's fought years ago. <laughs> and he's like, what the hell? I have to fight this guy again? I killed him when I was like 15. What is he doing? Is that poison? It's rising. Keep moving up the stairs. Oh, I like this. Taking out a lot of them. It's mostly dead. So. Oh yeah. Am I able to? Hey, God, I'm forgetting. I'm just trying to kill it, even when it's not uh. I keep trying to use... Yeah, there we go. Keep trying to use those as the, uh... Flash move, uh... Uh... uh Goddamn it. Uh, good. Okay. Now it's going up on to... Yeah, proper arena. And now we're gonna take it out there. Yeah, that's not because didn't other ones usually like lose its pieces as you broke them, or was it always just a long thing and you had to deal with it like that? They've always just been a long thing. <laughs> yes, let's let ourselves be surrounded by getting in the middle while this thing circles it. Smart idea. We're at the top now. Uh, I hate it. It's gross and it won't die. Don't know about you, 
you guys, but I'm having a fall. It is growing noticeably weaker. We must double our offensive. Yeah. Good. Nice big AOA. Keep it together. Use my shadow dive to get to the other side of it. Uh-huh. Well that actually makes a lot of sense. Good. Luckily having obvious weak points makes this boss a lot easier than other ones, right? Like whole bunch of the other bosses, it's like, oh yeah, you actually have to like flash guard, flash move, and all that stuff, and just kind of deal with it. This one's like, oh yeah, there are weak points, so just do those. <laughs> Never expected a giant sandpeed to come bailing around from the wall. No kidding. I think I'm still in shock. That was one weird monster, wasn't it? Indeed, it differed considerably from the those found in the Grimwald Knox. Didn't seem like it was native to the area either. Let's get to stepping. Looks like this place goes even deeper from here. <laughs> Wasn't native from here. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder where it could have been native to. May mayhaps it was uh, native to one of uh, the places I'd also already been. <laughs> Methinks. Potentially. Explored 100% good. Okay. Yoink. Nig Tiger. At all once fought this monster before I shine ass there. Okay, yep. <laughs> he fought it before. Huh. You know, I kinda feel like I've been here before. Oh wow. What gave it away? We only end up in the prison literally every time. The prison? Then this is where Uh Let's keep searching. Thought you'd say as much? At all the red. No sense turning back. Let's investigate the place as thoroughly as we can. Someone's ready to go. What happened to being sick? In any case, this means that even the catacombs are connected to the prison. Emergency preparedness I can get, but how many escape routes does one place even need? As many as possible. Something the matter, Krisha? Oh, um, it just seems quieter here than the prison usually is. Let us proceed with caution, then. We cannot know what awaits us ahead. Okay. Anything unusual in the prison? Ooh, interesting. Big book. Someone doesn't get out often. Big book. Uh, big library place. I said big book place. <laughs> it is the big book place. It is a place where big mounts of books go. Um, uh, seems like a study. With the in here. Like a chemistry lab, kind of? A laboratory where advanced experiments are conducted. A laboratory! What kind of experiments could they be doing in here? I don't know. Lemure experiments? I don't like this one bit. <sighs> Something on your mind, Anamona? Pardon me. I was merely distracted. Distracted? Are you feeling unwell? I am a doll, so I do not suffer such ailments. Who are you people? Who are you people? How did you get in here? Who are you I people? Report the lot of you. Yeah? I'd like to see you try, old man. <laughs> I will kill you. Wait, Huck. He doesn't look like he works for the prison. I detect no other presence in the vicinity. He is alone. Uh, how? Dad? D dad Dad, is that you? The fuck? What? Jewels? It can't be. You're Jewels, aren't you? Uh, I don't got my chair. <laughs> Put your glasses on, old man. Jewels! I'm my son. <laughs> it really is you, Dad. Jewels. Your legs. Your condition has gotten worse, hasn't it? <laughs> you need a razor, Dad. <laughs> you missed a few spots. Put those. Take those glasses off your head. He really is Jules's father. I'm so glad you found him. 
But wasn't his father being held as a prisoner? She's right. What are you doing in a lab? Do you have any idea how worried mom is about you? <sighs> Dad? You all must be the monsters. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Smirnov Noah. I was once a doctor in Baldur. I know you. You're a famous doc. What's a guy like you doing in a dump like this? And also, Julius, you might want to turn back into your non monstrum form, just so you, you know, you're not lying on the ground. <laughs> Sick. As I'm sure you've all speculated, I'm helping someone conduct experiments. Oh yeah? Who is that someone, Smirnov? Helping who? And what kind of experiments? <clears throat> this is just a gut feeling, but... What comes to mind when you think experiments? You know, all those preposterous things we've seen around here. <laughs> yeah, like primordial and big monster. That one, that, that one we fought before. <laughs> you mean the primordials? I see. So you were the ones who broke into the restricted sector. Dad. The hell? I bet that giant centipede was your doing too. Huh? Oh yeah, I guess the giant centipede also works because it's like they're taking these big monster things, bosses from previous games effectively, and bringing them here for some reason. I can't believe it. It's like, why? Would you create these monsters? Who are you working for? Forget it. He ain't talking. Whatever it is, it's apparently more important than his precious son's disease. Dad? Are you working for the Hieroglyph Knights? The Hieroglyph Knights? That would be the logical conclusion. Mm. What you've all seen was only a glimpse of the complete truth. But a word of caution. If you choose to delve further into the truth this prison you will be faced with a difficult choice well we're doing it anyway so that must be what aprilis was referring to chatelard was yammering on about something similar well we're already this far and we're not gonna stop come on we intend to discover the truth we can't avoid the truth anymore we intend to discover the truth hmm. you're just as i heard you to be crimson yeah chasing adventure but I've already divulged more than I should have, and I cannot return home until my work here is finished. You never think of anyone but yourself. I used to be grateful to you. You took me in. Made me feel like I was your real son. Oh, he's adopted. Okay. Real son? But you abandoned mom. You forced her to take care of me all by herself. You despised me so much, then you should have just said so! Jules. For some reason, Mom still won't give up on you. Everyone looks at her like the wife whose husband left her with a broken kid. Despite all that, she still waits for you to come home. Every day. You can't even begin to imagine how much she's gone through because of you! Do either of us actually mean anything to you at all? I won't be your burden for much longer anyway, but before that, I'm going to bring you back to mom, even if I have to drag you the whole way. Jules, calm down. <laughs> no, don't calm down. Fucking do it. It all makes sense now. <laughs> Bull, fucking d knock him out. <laughs> final nail in the coffin. Yeah, work hard so the ones looking after me can live in peace. Bring back that deadbeat so that I can thank him properly. Yep, the deadbeat. He was writing about his mom and dad. Jules. I'm sorry. I truly wish I could, but I cannot leave this prison. I cannot let this all go to waste. Oh. Is this? I'm glad I could see you, my son. What? Dad? Inmate 217. Oh, he knows. What are you talking about? There's no need for secrecy. I know you're Adol Kristen. Fuck. 
slowly but surely, you draw nearer toward the center of the web. <laughs> really hard to keep that secret, huh? When I look exactly like Adol Kristen with my red hair in this form. <laughs> so, like, the disguise is so funny. He looks, he, like, him not, like, Crimson King not being recognized as Kristen is absolutely bonkers. Because he looks exactly like Adol. He has red hair and everything. His disguise, sure, fine, whatever. Like, at least it's a different color. But his monster form, no one should not be able to recognize him. Because <laughs> he looks more like himself than he did than he does in disguise. Each step you take will be more dangerous than the last. Yeah, I hate sorry. to ask this of you, but please, take care of Jules. Take care of my son. Okay. What happened to him? Teleportation circle. It appears he has escaped our grasp. Things just keep getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> you did good, Jules. I... I... Jules, we were able to retrieve some valuable information. We are now aware that there are experiments involving monsters and primordials, and that it is all somehow related to our curses. Yes. And that Jules's father is working for someone. But who could it be? Probably Chatelard. That I do not know. Whoever it is, they've got to be the one behind all of this. Maybe it's the man Aprilis was talking about. The mutual acquaintance between her and Chatelard. That Maybe. That may be the most probable answer. Okay, so not Chatelard directly, I guess. So... The, he was arrested just to give him a space to be able to focus on the research. It's the best we've got right now. I'd wager that oh so virtuous Master Chatelard is laying a scheme as we speak. Adol, let's return to the dandelion. It's been a long day. I think everyone could use some rest. What? No, way, it's not been that long. Maybe we'll be able to think clearer afterwards. I can clearly then right I would now. Against lingering here for much longer, let us depart at once. Damn it! Why well, we gotta go? I can still go. I can still keep doing. Hey, what do you think about what we just heard? That the hieroglyph knights are running the prison now instead of the Roman garrison? No. Oh. Well, they said it was only temporary until Warden Belger recovered from his illness. Mm -hmm. But it is strange that it came from the knights and not Warden Belger himself. You do have a point. There's an underground sector the guards aren't allowed in, right? I heard a rumor that they're conducting some odd experiments down there. Experiments? What kind of experiments? Uh, I don't know. No use dwelling on it then. It's just a rumor. But I don't know how else to explain all the weird things that have been happening lately. Ah, it doesn't matter. We're here to do a job that I don't feel like losing anytime soon. I don't either. Then we're on the same page. Let's go. Let's give Adol some space. He needs to be able to wander the prison. Prison cell. Yeah. Hello, Marius. How are you doing? Hey there, at all. Not napping for once. <laughs> huh. Now you mention it. Suppose I'm not. Listen, at all. I know this is sudden, but today's the day we go our separate ways. I've decided to break myself out of here. Remember that old map we found in the restricted sector? I'm planning on using that escape route on it to make a break for the city. <laughs> what a coincidence. So am I. Huh. I had a feeling you might say something like that. Tell you the truth, there's a great deal of things I owe you an explanation for. But I can't get you wrapped up in this any more than I already have. I'm sorry. You really have to go? It's now or never, my friend. You don't have to worry about me. Anyway, we won't be seeing much of each other from here on. Take it easy on yourself, okay? Stay safe. I'll just be uh, I'll just be on my way now. See you around, Adol. Oh, 
Okay. See you later, Marius. Marius. Is it really okay to let Marius go off on his own? It is not. We are going to follow him. No problems to speak of. We've managed to persuade the guards for the time being. Oh, according to plan so far. But stay sharp. We'll still have some skeptics to contend with, no doubt. There's no mistaking it. The Knights are taking control over the prison. You'll have to tread carefully to avoid getting caught by them. Marius plans to use an escape hat that branches out from the mines. The entrance to the mines is right below the central wing courtyard. If you hurry, you just might be able to catch up to him. Okay. Mm, gotta go to the central wing courtyard. Um... Courtyard. <laughs> Running across the courtyard. Hey, man. This is the entrance to the Jillian Mines Penal Labor Center. Are you a special sector inmate? I'll need to get a look at your access pass. You present your access pass. Yup, no problems here. I'm guessing you've come to volunteer. That's right. Yes. Someone else came by a while ago to do just the same. Maybe you know him. Exemption from mandatory labor duties is one of the many perks of the special sector. It's not every day we get a willing volunteer out of it. Let alone two. No, all the better for us. The mines are right down this passage. Show them your access pass again when you get downstairs. See you later, bozo. You dipshit. So to clarify, we should submit our periodic reports to Unites. Well, that makes sense given that the prison's already under their jurisdiction. But who are we supposed to report to? Periodic reports will go to us for the time being. As for you, submit your transaction reports to the Pendleton Company like always. We'll contact you right away once we've assigned you a director. Thanks for all the help. Though I doubt Mr. Pendleton will be happy about things stalling without his say-so. I'll see what I can do. Now, if you'll excuse me. Unbelievable. Things have really gone to hell without the warren around. Yeah, he may be a little suspect at times, but at least he's actually helpful. You there! State your business! Maybe he's here for the same thing that guy from the special sector was here earlier. Ah, volunteer then? You have your access pass, I gather. You present your access pass. This is pretty admirable of you, as far as special sector residents go. We'll be sure to take your actions here into account on your next parole hearing. Move along now. The foreman will give you your assignment inside. I'm, I really hope at some point we get an Adol versus Adol fight in this game. <laughs> right? You you have the opportunity. You have two Adols. And also, really hasn't given him another cloak. Like, or even a washed cloak. What's this? Another volunteer? Never did I expect to receive two in the span of a single day. Uh... Who is the other one? A lad with dark hair. Rather easygoing, but commendable for a special sector inmate. You can continue down the passage if you wish to offer up your services. The work site should be all the way at the end of the path. Our primary commissions call for silver, but sulfur and cinnabar are in demand as well. Just take care you don't lose your way and end up in the old mine gallery. Beasts are not prowl there, so I won't be able to make any guarantees on your life. See you later. Yeah, okay, map out of this place. This is another way my stack you should for right now. Gallery, yeah, okay. Dude, I'm just trying to map out this area. Alright, bro. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. 
Yeah. The old mine guy should be somewhere past the lock gate. You can see signs that the lock was picked before being carefully put back into place. I'll lock the gate. You quickly, you quickly unlock the gate before anyone could catch you. How about you put the door back, bro? Let's take a break. Let's take a break. Yeah, yeah, if you want to die, I'm out on Kristen. Your death is predetermined. If I'm here, you will die. And how do, are these branches not cut if Marius came through here? Oh, there, Rusty. Oh, there, Rusty. What a turn of fate running into, an, into you in a musty place like this. What are you up to, anyhow? Taking a break for it already? You realize everything that's happened until now to Xavier. Hoy day! So you found a way to bust out of this place already, huh? I'm a little worried about that Marius fellow myself. But for now, you should go see if this really does lead to an escape route. I might be feeling gracious enough to gallantly lend you another paw. Thanks for always looking out for me. Hey, it's no big deal. I mean, wherefore else would I come all the way here in the first... Um, uh, um, uh, anyway, let's set forth before some rascally Wastrel spots us. Xavier is now accompanying you. Frequently save because I think I'm now in the uh, instant death trap part of the uh, the dungeon again. So I want to make sure that uh, I do not get instant trapped because that's always annoying. Don't let it spot you, Rusty. Well, I let it spot me. Red cheese. Damn, I was hoping I could. Do a nice little, uh, jump and roll over it. Ow. Went through the... Bullshit. Went through the box. A treasure chest. Ah. Bullshit. Oh wow, I didn't die. Almost died, but I didn't die. Almost, but not all the way. Okay. Good. Dodge roll to safety like a Giga Chad. Okay, that's one I need to break the things with. Yes, I'm definitely coming back here with the monster party, which <laughs> makes it makes it a little bit more sense as to why there's chests and stuff that I just straight up cannot get. Um, the question is, was that a worth it? Damn it! I was really hoping I could just. to have uh, gone all the way around. Um... Oop, oop. Ah, okay, that's how. A treasure chest. Raisins times two. Yeah. 
It is interesting where basically in this at all section, they've yet to increase the difficulty of the monsters that you're actually fighting and killing. They're all the same strength as they were at the start of the game because they haven't given you better weapons. You've only leveled up. Oh, methinks we've made it past the worst of it by now. After this, things should be. <laughs> After this, it should be easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All downhill from here. Sneaking our way through wouldn't be impossible, per se. But catching up to that Mariusville would be another story. How did he get through here? Guess there's only one thing for it. Looks like we'll be parting ways sooner than we thought, Rusty. My cunning wit and nimble blade should be enough to keep a few of them busy. I won't be able to stray the whole lot, but you can handle the rest, right? Will you be okay, Xavier? What? Will I be okay? You wound me, Rusty! I'd be... I'd been playing on this from the very start, so don't you fret about me. If anybody can spark a change around here, it's gotta be you. I know you have it in you to solve this prison's conundrums and save us all. I can think of no better reason to lend you my aid. Thus, I beseech you. Get out of here and carry the fight on for both of us. Come your ways, you lily-livered moppets! Feast your gaze upon the exalted Xavier! Fare thee well at all! Till next we meet, wherever that may be! You could hear Xavier's footsteps fade into the distance as he lured the sentries away. Two of them still remain, however. It would be best to proceed with caution. Okay. Them out. A treasure chest. The question is, how the hell do I get up to there? Um, hmm. It might be something I can't do is this at all. Ooh. Good going, Marius. Quite a pickle you've gotten yourself in this time. Over here, beasts! Let's go! Is that... at all? Yup. Can't leave my friend. I'm a bro! Let me cut that box. Let me cut it, I want the item. Damn, holy shit, bro. Uh, are you alright? You? You saved my neck, Adol. Of course I did, bro. I definitely had better moments. I ran out here trying to escape, and before I knew it, I was hanging on for dear life. Yeah, I was like you should have accepted my offer for help at the start. I was gonna say that. Mm. I wanted to talk to you about the time we snuck into the restricted sector. We know the hieroglyph knights have a bone to pick with the Roman Empire, but it's not just that. That tells me that Shadowlard's hiding something up his sleeve. Yeah, something. To that end, I have something I need to do. If I don't, then I'll never be more than just a tool. Did your memories return? Maybe. Mm. Seems like they did. I'm starting to remember why I'm here, at least. My purpose is to ensure the well-being of my country. My country. My greedy, pompous country, fraught with. <laughs> Are you talking about the Roman Empire? I mean, yes, that's exactly right. As you might be aware, the Roman Empire is not exactly well liked in Elysium. Yeah, because it's kind of an invading force. I'll get up to the wars, the invasions, the conquests to expand our territory. Yup. Hell, even the ocean couldn't shield Africa from the consuming flames of Rome. Yeah. And now. Glia has been added onto its long list of annexed nations. Shadowlar's out for revenge. I believe he intends to use me against my own country. Hmm. That sounds like a complicated situation. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a real mess. Because we also don't know, like, how, like, we don't know who you are and how you could be used against your country. I'm thinking maybe you're like you're a high-ranking person's child like maybe the emperor's son i don't know i don't 
don't expect you to follow me into the wolf's den. But I will. I'm already here. I've been held, I've been held by Romans before. I want to regain my freedom as an adventurer. I thought you might yeah. say that, but I need to be I need to be free to adventure. How what the hell? We've watched each other's backs for this long. Yeah, you can't get out of it now, bitch. Okay, it's a deal. We're getting out of here together. You and I are going to be partners until we've both gotten what we're after. <laughs> Look forward to it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Never thought I'd say this, but I wonder if we'd still be friends if you knew the real me. I don't know, maybe. Do you feel that? I'd say it's probably more like, would we still be friends if we didn't both end up in prison at the same time? It's barely noticeable, but there's a draft. There must be a passage leading outside. According to the map, the, wind. the escape route continues along this way. Let's press ahead. Yeah, we better keep moving. They'll come looking for us once they've realized we're gone. <laughs> once they've realized, hey, where are our volunteer workers? They're not here. Chapter 6. The Renegade Secret End. Good, okay. So now we have all the monstrums. That means we have all our exploration abilities, sands, any sacramental ones that are given to us. Um, so that's pretty good. It's pretty good. They're doing experiments beneath the prison, huh? And George's father is involved. Many know of Dr. Noah, and that he is indisputably a brilliant scholar. For a doctor as distinguished as he to have access to advanced technologies. I can only imagine the scientific miracles he could achieve. Think they're looking to train primordials and monsters to use in war? Even if they don't, there's bound to be immense profits to be made from them. They're nuts. A lot of them. Oh, um... What we really should be concerned about is stopping them from making more creatures. When do we leave? You idiot. There's nothing to be ex this is nothing to be excited about. You still got no idea what Shadlard's planning yet. It is clear that Dr. Noah and the Hieroglyph Knights are indeed colluding. Can't think of anything good that could come out of this. This is merely a conjecture. But I presume the Romans are, to some capacity, aware of the situation. It has been quiet around here lately. Maybe it's because I haven't seen the warden in a while. Now that you mention it, I haven't either. Maybe he's not feeling well? That may be true, but I fear our missing warden is analogous to the recent surge in oddities. Yeah, can't just wait till this blows over, even if it ends up being nothing. All right. You're gonna go back to the prison and we're gonna find out what's going on. What do you say, Adol? Like it or not, Ramba, that's exactly what I had in mind. Yeah, you for Good all that all. This could very well involve all of Balduk. I don't give a hoot about Balduk. I mean, because I've got a score to sell with Shadlard. I will join as well. Family reasons. I will accompany you as per usual. We're breaking into the prison. I've got an idea. Could you show me the map of the city at all? Remember the passages we found in the outskirts leading to the prison? The common denominator is that we found them all in ancient buildings or ruins. That is an insightful observation. My hypothesis is correct, and there's one here we haven't investigated yet. They're ruins from the Hundred Years' War. I'm guessing we'll find a passage there. Dude better not run out on us to see the sights. Well, we got my reasons too, so more power to ya. I won't deny that I do harbor interest in seeing the ruins. Guys, the plan, remember? Right. It's for the location of the ruins. Okay, they're out here. <laughs> East bub fuck. They're right here. That's all the way east of the city. What kind of ruins are out there? They're what's left of an abandoned quarry. In the old days, rocks and minerals were mined from there. Of course, nobody's mined there in ages. It's safe to assume it'll be vacant. That path. I think I remember there being a barrier blocking it. Yes, it was there when we went to the shrine. 
If this is our destination, then we must first dispel the barrier. Then the plan has been decided. Alright, once we're ready, let's head out. Yeah! Okay. Chapter 7. Capriccio of the Prison. Capriccio. What is a Capriccio? New quest available on the bulletin board. Okay, chapter 7. What is a Capriccio or Capriccio? Capriccio. A lively piece of music, typically typically one that is short and free in form. Okay, good to know. Hey, Keeve, how's it going, my man? Thanks for dropping by. It's going well. Just finished chapter six, having a grand old time with the party. We got all our abilities now, which is pretty cool. Um, How's it going, you two? Doc's been talking about some unknown cargo being brought into the prison. Try going off with the old bag's intel to do some digging. But it'd probably be faster to just sneak in and see what they're hiding. Well, aren't you a dependable sort? Are you a thief once, perhaps? What do you think about working for me once your prospects are open? I'm sure I could expect many a greater thing from the Crimson King's right-hand man. Alright, enough of the headhunting. Save the pitch for after Adol's curse is broken, alright? Doing a playtest for Blue Protocol. Can't say anything about it since I'm under an NDA, but I like it. Too. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's a, that's a mobile game, right? That's coming out. Okay, so I need two more Mystic Lazulites and a Relic Bone. Two Mystic Lazulites and a Bone. Two Mystic Lazulites and a Bone. Two Mystic Lazulites and a Bone. I'll take everything you got. Two Mystic Lazulites. Okay, one Mystic Lazulite. And a bone. One Mystic Lazulite and a bone. I can't make a bone because I don't have five unfading hide. Okay, so Mystic Lazulite and a bone. Mystic Lazulite and a bone. Mystic Lazulite and a bone. It's a Mystic Lazulite. And a bone. There's a Mystic Lazulite. And a bone. Uh, it's a new MMO made by Bandai Namco. It was released already in Eastern Markets, but it's come to West next year. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Sure thing. What do you want to make? See, I've never been. I've tried many an MMO in my day. But I've never, like, there's just something about, like, MMO, like, I guess, game flow or like the the cycle of quests or like the kinds of quests that you get in a lot of MMOs that like because that's like the standard form that you're going to be doing for like an indeterminate amount of hours I feel like it just like off with me even if the quests are very similar to ones you would find in just regular RPGs anyway <laughs> if that makes any sense artisan is suffering uh, Trouble Australian Craftsman, Craft Guild, Warehouse Stakeout, Noble District, where has my free guitar in the fire scopus cave of Sim by Roma Wash, you find these qualifications with Noble District, Prelist Trial, I have a trial for you all to undertake, okay. Feels very MMO, so I'm not sure how long I'll actually play, okay. Yeah, because also MMOs are, like, hard to, like, get into, because, like, you know if you get into it, it's a time sink, right? Like, mobile games, like very similar but at least it's on your phone so it's like okay i can just pull it out put it back pull it out put it back but um Any errands you'd like yeah to it's just difficult um uh doo -doo 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 -doo. you know yeah let's buy Can't wait to try it out. yeah let's just keep um Anything yeah, let's else keep like let's keep at all like at the uh out? at the top in Are terms of uh terms of weapons and Any stuff like me to run? Um, As you everything wish. else can be kind of whatever you call for me okay. you like. we'll do uh, you guys are whatever over there yeah hmm. yeah yeah I'm ready and raring to go oh uh, yeah and yeah man well come back anytime oh yeah yeah 
Okay, what's going on hey. over here? It's sweet of you to two, of you two to keep me company, but don't you have things to take care of? Meh, all that mess with the prison's finally winded up to an end anyhow. Besides, this is a nice change of pace. It is not much of a change, given how often you have arrived in the Nox pre-inebriated. Nevertheless, rec recuperation is vital. Perhaps I shall indulge in an extra lump of sugar. Just how does Anamona's body work, I wonder? <laughs> That's true. Found they inform me that consuming sweet vi uh, sweet vi uh, vittles invigorates one. Since I am a doll, I will I also experience the same effects? Hey, Jules. It's really a choice I used to play in the past time I wasn't playing other games, but I mostly will sign up for beta testing roles, testing animal modes, and similar games. Those are very similar to each other, so I mainly use them as breaks. Ah, okay. You know what? Yeah, that's a good idea. See, me, I'd like, because. <laughs> see, I usually don't have, like. I, I've met today multiple times where it's like, oh yeah, I don't really have all that much, like, time to do breaks from games because I'm all, like, I'm streaming frequently. So I was like, ah, you know, this. Like. Don't really have to worry about breaks because every second stream or every third stream I play a different game, right? It's like, oh yeah, I'm getting a little tired. East, well, Xenoblade's coming up. Backlog's pretty long, though. Yeah. We won't get past the barrier there till we deal with the Grimwald Knox first. Talking to the king of backlogs right now because mine has been uh, recorded through the, through my streams, basically. Uh, you come. Let's begin the trial at once, then. Are you prepared? Wait, not so fast. We're still not even sure what we were requesting. What kind of trial is it, exactly? My proposal couldn't possibly be any simpler. Your capabilities have been improving steadily thus far. It's about time I trained you to reach your fullest potentials as monstrums. Uh, our fullest potentials? That makes this a private lesson of sorts, then. <laughs> well, then why didn't you say so? You and me, Aprilis, one-on-one. -on -one. I'll take you any day of the week. I'm afraid that cannot be done. But fear not, you'll still get the challenge you so desire. What say you, Crimson King? Let's get this trial going. In that case... You express your interest in taking on Aprilis' challenge. Very well. Let us begin at once. Time to enter my... training area. Okay. Interesting. Now, Monstrums, show me the extent of your power. Uh, fine, but only because we gotta- Oh, that sword looks so cool with that all. That's so edgy. <laughs> what a troublesome bunch. Let's make quick work of them. Quick try, uh, trial accepted. So what, it's just- Damn it. Damn it. Fucker. So skills. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Your skills are leveling up oh, decently quickly. It looks like the golem from the ruins. I sense an immense power from it. <laughs> now this is what I call entertainment. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Okay, I also need to check that. No escape, prisoner, prisoner's grasp, 156. Ah, 
I didn't realize that I got health back during, uh... During Monstrum form. Nice. Wasn't bad. That was the entire trial. Ah, uh, now that's what I call a challenge. It was worth taking that she-devil up on her demands from time to time. Uh, you're the only one enjoying yourself here, you know? Yeah, I'm at my limit. That battle was of comparable difficulty to that of a full moon. The trial is complete. Exceptionally done, everyone. While there is much room for improvement, I am most pleased with your performance. Um, thanks? I'm not even sure whether to sigh in relief or exasperation. Or both. Still, my pose seems a bit more chipper than usual today, don't you think? Krisha. Huh? Uh, um, yes? You are greatly lacking in fortitude, as you are no doubt already aware. Try varying the pace of your movements. Doing so should save you much undue harm. N yeah, okay. I'll keep that in mind. Anemona, Jules, your actions, while methodical, could use more efficiency. Anticipate your adversary's next move before proactively responding in kind. You'll find your fighting prowess should become much more refined as a result. I see. I was not aware of such. Thanks for the tip. Yufa, you fight with your utmost. In Credo, your battle instincts are a boon, to be sure. But your emotional volatilities have a tendency to undermine your performance. Exercise temperance, and you will better cultivate your respective potentials. Uh, was that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> you were banking on making me feel all fuzzy inside, you're out of luck. But seeing as I had such a good time here, save you the trouble of making a scene. Hmm. Would that your judgment were always so sound. In any event, here's your reward for completing the trial. And no and no advice for Crimson King, because he's perfect. He's amazing. You can't you can't improve on the best. Fenrir Claw received. No advice for me? Um... <laughs> you have no need for it. Nevertheless, I will still be counting on your efforts in battle, Crimson King. And I'll be expecting even greater diligence of the rest of you from here on, Monstrums. Damn, really just saying, yo, at all, you don't need it. You perfect. Well. You can't be improved. Nice. Okay. You gave me. What did you give me? Hermes around me 10,000. That. Give me. Yeah, because any of the things that are purely. Um, Bend your claw, strength plus 25. Hey, Vondana. How's it going, my man? Thanks for the raid. Yeah, any of the ones that's just like, hey, here's X amount of XP and not like a, a, a level. It's like, oh yeah, just use that whenever. Like, use that immediately because it's always going to be worth the same amount of XP. Just a matter of how much of a level that is depends on what level you're on. Uh, so, what, you're playing AI Somnium Files today? Was that it? Played some Somnium. Nice. AI. I. It's an I. <laughs> the I Somnium files. <laughs> uh, seems like a seems like a fun game. I hope you eventually play it at some point. There are many games that I plan to play, hopefully. Um like at some point I I wanna try what is it, Utuara Mono? That because I've heard good things about that series. But it's also like very visual novel y and long. <laughs> I tell you, Marcel, you're getting more and more stubborn by the day. Don't you think you ought to just give in just this once? The poor boy was so distraught he came all the way to pay me a visit. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm here to get work done. Full stop. Yeah, here you are, wasting valuable time bringing up my numbskull apprentice. And there you go again. Oh, you kids need something. Well, kind of. We received your request at the bar? It really is interesting how they made Balduk feel nice and cool, considering it's very gray. Yeah, and it, like, it is nice. Because it would be easy to just have, like, a drab, morose, like, prison town that's like, Ugh. but, like, they made it feel almost relaxing in, in its color scheme. 
Oh, why didn't you say so? We craftsmen could use an outside hand. Maybe if we borrow you for a bit, seeing as you already you know, yo, 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 yo. sure, we'll help you out. Great, you kids are real lifesavers. That's for a little issue here. It's about Marcel's apprentice, Potts. We need you to bring him back to us. B bring him back to you? What happened to him? He hasn't gone missing, has he? No, look what you're done boiling. Your lousy explanations got the gals all up in a tizzy. And despite what Andrew says, it's more of a town that has a prison as opposed to a town that is a prison. Yeah, it's not a prison town, it's just a prison, and the major thing it's known for is the prison in the town. <laughs> it's more like a town built around a prison. Uh, yeah, I like it. But because of the way the setting is given to you as monstrums, the town is the prison in a magical sense, but not for everyone else. Uh, at this rate, you'll end up making things more of a mess than they already are. Would you listen to him? The things I get for submitting the request he wouldn't. Long story short, Marcel and Potts have been having a little master apprentice quarrel. That's no news for them, usually, but it's gotten to boiling point this time around. <laughs> Only that breath fired up the forge half as well as he did that temper of his. Do we get the end of the game? I'm picking our next destination. <laughs> Fucking tired of this shit. At all. Let's go get some poon, brah. <laughs> Still haven't told us what actually happened. Oh, sorry about that, boy. Oh, we're blacksmith, not woodsmiths. In any case, we have the craft guild to provide apprenticeship for ages now. It's customary for aspiring young artisans to join workshops and receive training. But whether an apprentice ever becomes a full-fledged craftsman is up to the master. It's not uncommon for youngsters to start feeling impatient or unappreciated. And so that half with apprentice of mine went and made a shield I never taught him. All the while spouting some haughty nonsense about putting what he's learned to practice. No respect for the old ways. Or workshop permission for that matter. The audacity. Hey, you're just trying to make a shield. Why well, game is Tunic. Oh, nice. Nice. I've heard good things about Tunic. Back to, it's like a... Spirit successor to some of like the old, old, older, like, uh... Legend of Zelda games, seems. Give him a good yelling too. Said a rookie like him need to master the basics first. Well, I ended up leaving the workshop after that. He ran off to the plains with said shield in hand, determined to prove his worth. <laughs> I like the cut of this kid's jib. But the plains are quite dangerous alone. It would be best if he returned at once. Mind you, Bastion. My love, seem. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Uh. It, w uh, it would. Tried stopping him on my way out of town. But you know what he said? You're just siding with Master Marshall, huh? All you care about here is damage control. Screw this. Master never planned on training an outsider like me anyway. Or, well, something like that. I'm not so good with young people speak. He called himself an outsider? Sounds like this is a more complex situation than we thought. Hmm. Huh. Are they worth all this fussing around? Sounds like the man of the workshops had just about enough of all this. I'll do the asking for him then. Could you bring Potts back? Yeah, sure. Sorry to put you up to this. Burling just mentioned it, but the kid ran off to the Mullane Plains. Seems he was making his way southwest. That sounds like that's where we're headed. Let's go search for him. Let's go do it. Artisan is suffering. Okay. Do, 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 do. God, the load times are so fast. <laughs> Fucking love it. And with my extended search range, I can now uh, get a little bit more of the map checked out. 93.7. There's going to probably give me a chunk there. And then this chunk over here. But I need that to go away. I need this to go away. Gotta go north. But yeah, I remember I saw a speedrun of Tunic, um, and it was like a, um, like a director, like they had the, um, they had the, like the makers of the game, they were talking about stuff, how it's, uh, and how it's meant to, like, feel like the main character, like the little fox guy or whatever, is like supposed to feel foreign to the land, which is why everything in 
think, what is it? When you pick up like the maps or the guide things, it like looks like a game guide in game. Um, it's, it's interesting, from what, I, what I've seen. Alright, I'm out of now. I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Uh -huh. And then Master will be forced to admit he was wrong. But, well, it'll be extra, extra sure I'm ready. <laughs> oh, there he is. So this is Pots, huh? It'd be a lot less explaining if we're in our normal forms. Hey, you! Huh? Oh, what? Me? Who are you? You and the monsters explain the situation to the leery Pots. Oh, good, a monster sent ya. Gosh, first you guys, and now he's involved with Master Berlin, too? Has he got a shred of dignity left? <laughs> no dignity, huh? Mind me, who's the spoiled brat who abandoned ship over an argument with his master again? <laughs> Come back to the city with us. There are too many monsters around here. You wouldn't want your runaway excursion to turn into a runaway corpse recovery, would you? No, but I can't go back yet. Not until I've proven the value of this. Pots brings out a prototype shield. Uh, is this what you made without your master's approval? Yes, I want to make a shield that was as light as it was sturdy. If I could just prove that it worked against monsters, then that mullish master of mine will have no choice but to accept my genius. <laughs> Maybe you're the one who won't accept that you're too scared to face him. May have left in a huff, but where's that gallantry now? Okay, Goofy, chill out. Don't die out here. <laughs> you weren't watching me, were you? What did you expect? I've never slain a beast before. I only planned up to this point, but now my stupid legs won't move. Whoa, man, you can't be saying that in front of Jules. Hey, you guys look like a rough crowd. You've probably killed monsters before. How about you test out my shield for me? You wish for us to be your test subjects? Exactly! It makes perfect sense! I'm a craftsman, not a, a, a warrior like you guys! Sure, I could go beat up some monsters, but it would be even better in your hands! I think I follow. Meh, you had me at beat up some monsters. Wouldn't, uh, wouldn't hurt to give it a whirl. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've already come this far. You better come back to the sea with us after we're done or else. Fine, you have my word. You can trust me. Here, take it. Prototype shields received. One of you is going to have to equip it. They need to kill 15 mushroom monsters in the plains. Supposedly, they explode after being off. Figure that should demonstrate its agility. Okay, take it away. Let's just be done with this. Commence the experiment. Equip the prototype shield to one of your active bio members and defeat 15 mushroom enemies. Leave it to me. Let's go. Defeat 15 mushroom enemies. Um. Uh, what do I have on binding bangle? 15 mushroom enemies. <laughs> Fighting poly polygon D. God, that was always the worst part about uh, Smash 64. By worst, I mean like the part that like got me the most annoyed and it was you do like the campaign mode and you can do the fighting polygon team but you never got to play as a fighting polygon like that was never a skin can't find the video but have you ever seen the demo for this game probably maybe but I don't remember it Fighting Polygon Team. It's very bare bones in a quarry, lots of sharp angles. Yeah, sounds about right. I mean, it's a demo. Just to get the vibe down. Flare shot. Ugh, going fast. Um, okay, let's do flare shot. Basically just shows off the speed and add all of that. Yeah. And that's all you really need, right? Like... Fire! Fire! Fireball! 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 Fireball. Yeah, this is 
Excuse me. Hey, yeah, this is what I like to say. Shouldn't be many more left. Uh, do, 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 journal, quest. Look at all these queer, queer, cleared quests. Let's defeat the prototype shield equipped. And. There we go. Let's just run. Gotta run fast. It definitely feels like, yeah, with the sprint speed increased, jumping is slower, but other prison at all, jumping is faster. Yeah, I was gone. That's really dead. So, I was a shield. It ain't half bad. It was strong enough and it was lightweight too. People would line up for this. That's if you can forge it on your own. I see. That's all the testing I need for today. We have fulfilled our end of the contract. You will return to the city as promised. A deal's a deal. Lead the way. Finally, I'll get to show Master that I was right all along. I'll have you return to ours and Lane along with Potts. Guildmasters awaited you. Oh, hey, glad he's still in one piece. Thanks a million, kiddos. So the prodigal apprentice with thorns. Just thought I'd go back to prove you wrong, you old has been. So here it is, my masterpiece. Let's see you play your good for nothing apprentice down after taking a look at this. Now, we'll see about that. You can see the little brat. Boss hands his prototype shield over to Master Marshall. I'm impressed, Bots. Takes some real nerve to strut on in, parading this around as a masterpiece. Ugh. Hey, come on now. Still, it's light, sturdy, and easy to handle. You got the makings of something here. A prototype or not, a piece like this is a gold a dozen among craftsmen. You can't even understand that much. Sh shut your damn mouth! You'll never recognize me as a craftsman no matter what I do, will ya? Why even keep me around? Do you have someone to pick on and do your chores? You talk about the old ways and tradition, but you can't even stand where I come from! Enough already! Don't go making assumptions, Potts. Being a craftsman is about one thing. Skill. No one here is to judge you for being an outsider from Rom. You want my recognition? You gotta earn it. Your skills just aren't there yet. That's what he meant by outsider. The number of Romans here did increase after Glia's annexation. It wasn't long after the war when you first knocked on my workshop door. At the time, most Glians scorned Romans as callous invaders behind their backs. But still, you insisted on falling behind bumbling old me without a single gripe. I'll admit, I started to grow fond of you over the years. In all your time treading water with nothing to show, I never encouraged you even once. Master Marshall! I understand your feelings. That the way I run my workshop is outdated. I suppose I just couldn't bring myself to take any criticism from an amateur. Till now, that is. Huh? Then you hear me? Said the shield had the makings or something. It's rough around the edges, sure. A little elbow grease and, uh, it'll make a fine product. What matters is that you finally produce something worthy of praise. Got ways to go before becoming a true craftsman. That doesn't mean I can't listen to you once in a while. M master First off, try tempering this shield again. A little refining should brighten it out. Wanna put what you learn to practice? Here's your big chance. After that, you can gripe about how I run the place as much as you want. Yes, Master! Aw, Potts. I'm happy for him. The hell do we always stick around for these mushy-ass happy endings anyway? 
<laughs> it's like they always say. Farewell to come after the storm. Thanks again for your help, everyone. Afterwards, Potts told Adol and his friends to stay and wait. Along a short way, he then handed his refined creation over to them. Feather shield received. Is this really the same shield from before? You have improved upon it considerably for such a short period of time. Yeah, it came together somehow or other thanks to Master Marshall's advice. Of course it did. Like I keep saying, you've still got a long ways to go. You can it, old man. You made your point. Anyway, I've obviously got a lot to learn before I become a true craftsman. So I'll just have to keep busting my ass under Master's instructions until I get there. Looking forward to your next piece. Can't say I know when that'll be, but you can be sure I won't disappoint. And thanks again, everyone. For everything. We'll know the call next time something comes up. Yeah, you damn well better. Awesome is suffering, except it really shouldn't be. Um, okay, so we're doing good on that. Do, 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 do. There's that over there, but whatever. Uh, warehouse stakeout, and then that's a question mark, and then that's a question mark, so let's go do warehouse stakeout. Um, yeah, that would be faster. Ha ha! I fly! Ha ha! Yum! Hello there. Oh, I don't suppose you'll uh, hear about my request, are you? You must be Count Agile, then. You got some thieves or something ransacking the warehouses here, yeah? Quite right. These warehouses are mainly used by us Rome nobility. Yes, but valuables have been disappearing from within them again and again. My own stock may very well be targeted next, hence my search for qualified assistance. But, um, aren't crimes like these the garrison's number one concern? And security should already be pretty strict with the Governor General's office nearby. Yes, yes, and uh, yet even still do the crimes occur right beneath their noses. It seems they've carefully deduced the most opportune moments to slip past the patrols. It's almost as though they're taunting them committing these crimes in broad daylight. <sighs> wow, that's pretty daring. Doesn't sound like everyday thieves. You guys are running off pure spite. And that's why you're looking for ordinary people a noble would never usually hire. Indeed, I may have my pride as a Roman, but sacrifices must be made somewhere. Except my pocket is glitching the hell out, so yes, indeed. You all look to be plenty qualified, enough to handle any altercations at the least. May I ask you to handle patrolling the area for suitable compensation, of course? We're on the job. I'm gonna head off so I can catch up on some sleep. You do that, Fondano. Have a good sleep, my friend. You are wonderful. I can't, you can't be any more of a drag than my usual nightly rounds. Besides, I wouldn't imagine the sneak past the Roman patrols has got my eye. Yeah, no way, they're just some run of the mill burglars. Alright, this is decided then. Let's get started. Best of luck, uh, the fate of our precious valuables lies with you. Warehouse steak out. Steak. I can go for some steak. The Count has left this area under our jurisdiction. According to him, the warehouse over there is yet to be targeted by the culprits. As every theft thus far has occurred by day, it would not be odd for them to appear soon. We just have to not only catch them in the act, but apprehend them as well. What we need, then, is the perfect stakeout point. Because if we split up so we all got our bases covered no matter where they sneak in. Oh, look at you, Mr. Knight. You've really got this down. Yeah, good idea, Credo. Let's get to searching. What about here? It's got a direct view of the warehouse while still being hidden. Yeah, let's add to our list of lookout points. Phew, 
it's a bit of a climb, but look, you can see both the front and back of the warehouse from up here. Sounds like a perfect spot for a stakeout to me. Sounds like a perfect steak for a steak steak for me steak. Steak? Shouldn't be saying steak in front of Raging Bull, guys. It's gonna hurt you. <laughs> there we go. Little hidey hole. Oh, there's a dog. This is a bit close to the warehouse itself. Still, it is a suitable location for remaining out of view. Whatever works. We'll count as a lookout point. Should I have enough points to see the warehouse from all sides now? Yep, all that's left is to split up and wait for those thieves to show up. <laughs> Can hardly wait. And all his comrades split themselves among the lookout points and began standing guard around the warehouse. And sure enough, before long. Before long, things started to occur. Come on. Gonna go find them. Gonna cut them. No stealing on my watch. We are, really are not hidden. They're just up. Oh, look. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah. Look at that. We're sneaking. Yeah. Yeah, we don't look suspicious whatsoever. Yeah. We're not covering our faces or anything. Yeah, yeah. They have come. Looks like it. Now just, uh, now to just make our way over slow and... Huh? What the hell are you? Ah! Hey, what happened to slow and steady? Screw that. First mover advantage. This is a real buzzkill, though. I think they're just two-bit burglars after all. I think someone who managed to sneak past the garrison and put up a better fight. Why oh, the monster bear? How about those Roman nobles put you up to this, didn't they? Come on, Hawk. Really? What matters most is that he stopped them before the crime was committed, no. Can't argue with that. Plus, he thawed their break in right in the middle of the act. Wait, I feel like I've seen that guy somewhere before. Yeah, right. Shit! So you bastards were working against us all along then, huh? Fine. Bow your heads to those Romans then! You and all the rest of the ignorant masses! Huh. That's some big talk for some small-time klepto to be. Gaston, run! You have to get away! We can't have you caught here! Remember our master plan! Right. I'm sorry for this, guys. <laughs> Always cute when they think they can run. After him at all? Yeah, let's go. Gotta go fast. I got fast sprint on, bitch. I'm all tapped out. Get out of here. Ooh, they gave us a nice little arrow above us. Excuse me. Damn Romans. I got fast sprint. You caught Gaston. Indeed I did. I got fast sprint, so you can't run from me, bitch. <laughs> Damn it all. Oh, finally got up to him. It was tough for us to even for even us to keep up. Got some real fancy footwork. Not enough though. Stand in the line for it, pal. <laughs> you monstrum sure think you're hot stuff, don't you? You've been hearing about your little escapades here and there, you know. Like messing with the Romans and breaking folks out of the prison. Not to mention getting in the way of our operations. Have to admit, you've got us beat. Operations? But in the end, you're just the same as the boss after she slipped out of jail. All the power to make a difference, and you won't even use a bit of it to help Glia. You'd rather bow down to the Romans and kiss the damn ground they walk on. Where's your pride as a Glian, huh? That rage you used to hold against Rom. <laughs> I'm not even Glia. <laughs> Neither am I, strictly speaking. You gotta be kidding me. Fine, forget that part then. Wait, hold on a sec. Is your boss who I think it is? Heh, <laughs> willing to bet it is. You were part of the Bells of Freedom, weren't you? That's the resistance group that was wiped out three years ago. Then, everything Margot was talking about before. It's up to she who started things to bear the cross. 
Suppose make certain the next generation doesn't stray on the wrong path. She was worrying about you guys the entire time. We of the Resistance have been biding our time for these past three years. They may quell our revolt. They may wipe out our organization. They may even capture the woman leading our helm. But they will never take our ultimate goal. Complete and utter vengeance against Rom. Now that the boss has forgotten her pride as a Glean, though, we've got no other choice. Huh? Just what is it, you all? Over there! It's the Maltrams! And the warehouse leave too, no less! Oh, great. Ah, smoke bomb. Smoke bomb. He must have had one prepared. Yeah, just you wait. You, the boss, the Romans, all of you. The time will come when we make our move. When the bells of freedom ring. Cough, cough. Are you all right, Jules? Oh, come on. Did he seriously get away? We would do well to do the same. Yeah, we have to report all this back to Count Agil. And to Margo at that. And all his comrades managed to get away soon after. Once the commotion in the noble district died down, they reported the attempted burglary to Count Edgel. Without other way, they decided to return to the Dandelion to tell Margo. Hmm. Of the mighty have fallen. Three years. I was only absent for three measly years. Those idiots didn't give you too much trouble, did they? Oh no, they didn't. It was the members of the Resistance all along. They were responsible for the pickpocketing and scams we put a stop to. I did some digging of my own. That's the only explanation. Pickpocketing and petty scams were just the tip of the iceberg. I don't condone crime, but if I needed money to help out my friends in the prison, I don't know what I would have done. They were willing to stain their reputation to free their leader. One thing's for sure. I'm not going anywhere near the Noble District anytime soon. There's no guarantee that they're not off somewhere hatching up a new plot. I hope not, but who knows what else they're capable of. I'd hoped that this was just a phase, but I am to blame for failing to lead them on the path of justice. Perhaps I'm unfit to call myself their leader. <laughs> You've been breathing that prison stench for so long it's gone to your head. <laughs> yes, perhaps it has. Still, I must carefully consider my actions for the future to come. You can talk to me anytime. <laughs> kind of you to offer, my boy. Forgive me for involving you all in this mess. You needn't let it concern you. You must have other business to attend to. Yeah, I do. <laughs> that actually went pretty well. That actually went pretty well. Indeed it did. It was also a quick quest. Like, I will say, like, the Monster of Nox quests, I feel like on average are a lot faster due to the enclosed area than the quests that uh, Lacrimosa Donna gave you. Yeah, I'm rolling. Talk to Iris, what's going on? If the rumors are true, then that bastard Linheim. Ah! Iris wears a pensive, brooding expression. You can't help but worry about her. Talk to Iris. What's going on? Child? At all? I was looking for you, actually. Thanks for saving me the trouble. You have my gratitude for helping me escape the prison. But my business is done here, so I will be taking my permanent leave. Where are you going? Hold on. Is it not obvious? The Governor General's office, you dimwit. Now that the Cardinal has returned, I no longer have any use for you people. Boo hoo. What are you gonna do? Cry? Go make yourself useful and tell the others. Um, bye. What, what are you following me for? I told you already. Leave me be. There's only one door out of this room I had to follow you. If you do not, then I will have to kill you. I would rather not dull my blade any more than I must. You seem sad. Iris, where are you off to? Something happened to Iris. She seemed to have left in a hurry. I see. So something did happen, didn't it? You told the dandelion staff about Iris' decision to leave. Why? She didn't even say goodbye. And she was just starting to get along with everyone, too. I thought she enjoyed helping out at the Dandelion. Maybe it was precisely because she was growing attached to you all. 
However, the return of the Cardinal is deeply concerning. Do you know if this news has already become publicly known, Dogie? Seems like it. Only just heard about it from one of the customers. We're on the streets that the missing Cardinal is back to his office. I was talking about how the Governor General's office was up and running again. I'm not so sure. Sounds fishy to me. I agree. It's highly improbable. There would have been a formal announcement. Fabrication or not, Iris believes it to be true. And this is the result. If only I'd been more attentive. Don't beat yourself up, Parks. It's not your fault. She's one of us, so it's up to all of us to stop her before she does something she'll regret. Speak for yourself. Once God death wish, I say let her have it. I'm dying to see if her blade's as sharp as that tongue of hers. This isn't the time for hogwash, Kratos. We still do not yet know her rationale behind her desire to assassinate the Cardinal. However, unlikely, the repercussions of such an action would be dire. Furthermore, the Monstrums would inevitably be associated with the murder of an official. After we've worked so hard to build up our reputation, the most important thing is that we can't let a friend go down the wrong path. Let's bring her back. Yeah. It's the right thing to do. Alright, it's not a moment to lose. Parks and, I, and Parks and I will stay here to look for information. Someone has to be here in case she changes her mind. Indeed. The Monstrums are better suited to deal with the unexpected anyway. I wish you all good luck. The Governor General's office wants it advantageous for us. Something may have happened already, for all we know. We'll have to be careful. Iris of the Storm. Ah, I get it. Instead of Eye of the Storm. Iris of the Storm. Um, could get two levels. That would be good. Um, do we know Nocturne oil. Oh, yeah, don't you use nocturne oil to make things or trade things? You. Yeah, I'll take everything you got. Or, no, you can get nocturne oil with these. But what do you trade nocturne oil for? Aren't you gonna trade anything? Bye bye. Is it like a final? Already and raring to go. Like what is it? Like what do we use nocturne? And also that's skill game plus four. That's pretty good. We need three twos. And this is... oh, just all right. Let me know if you need to come back anytime. What is nocturne oil used for? God damn it! Like, do I buy something with it? More behind Mart. Um, no, because this is that. Abieto. Abieto, I'm print. Um, you. Yeah. Oh, you got a recipe book. Just give me the word and I'll have a crack at it. Got a yet recipe. Hey, Adol. What'll it be? Hearty galette or galette or gayet. Um, uh, break rate up. He has a lot of HP. Cool. Um, Bye, fine. So come back soon. See you. Um, Andrew's a great listener. Um, yeah. Adol, any errands you'd like me to run? Um, I don't think there's anything. Barbarossa, you got half plate, damn a lot of armor. Decent defense upgrades. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's buy one. Put it on doll. Give her some defense. Um, yeah, I think that's. Anything else you'd like me to call for me whenever you like? I think that's fine. Ninety-seven. Uh. Increase across the board for everyone. And that's the nice part where there isn't like gender specific equipment or anything. It's just, hey, equip it, please. Um, okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. 
Where is the governor general's office? Yeah, over there. Yeah. I ho. Hmm, wonder what's going on. I seem pretty panicked. Um, excuse me. Did something happen? Well, there was a small fire over the governor general's office. We still don't know exactly what happened, but we're suspecting arson. Arson? That's right. Apparently a live coal was thrown through an open back window. We should consider ourselves lucky that room wasn't more flammable. I shudder to think what might have happened, but had we been a step too late. Some luck. This in the Martian incident was short enough on hands as it is. We'll give the area a once over for now. As for all of you, if you see anyone suspicious, uh, report it immediately. W will do. Okay, see you guys later. This has Irish written all over it. Especially considering her mission. I bet this is just a distraction for the guards. In which case, chances are she's already snuck into the Governor General's office. We have to stop her then. Where she does something she can never take back. Do so would require our own inconspicuous point of entry. Perhaps we should try giving the building a once over ourselves. There we go. This looks like the exit they used to clean the roof. Well, one man's exit has another monstrum's entrance, right? Right. Let's hurry inside before it's too late. Enter. It's time to stop our little assassin child. And on, the monstrum snuck into the building from the roof. They then head toward the governor general's office, taking care to remain hidden from the staff inside all the while. Oh, damn. She is, like, right there. Lindheim isn't back yet? Do not play dumb with me. Everyone knows the governor general's office is still running. But it's true! I still don't have any idea where he's gone! We're only acting in accordance with his policies from before his disappearance! Damn it all! You should probably cover your face as well. And also probably shouldn't say her actual name. <laughs> Iris! What the heck are you guys doing here? Those clothes! And the monstrums! Don't worry, we're only here to stop her. Whatever your reasons, they can't be worth killing in cold blood. <laughs> this won't solve anything. Indeed, there's no resolution to be gained from this. Shut up, shut up, shut up! You think I do not know that already? Whatever it takes to avenge my father is nothing compared to what Rom has done. For all the people care, those invaders might as well be the rightful rulers of Glia. He stole it all out of father's hands. From the hands of our family. Family? You don't mean... I don't believe it, miss... No. My lady! Could you perchance be her highness, Princess Eleanor? Damn, she's a princess? Shit, son. E Eleanor? Princess? The iris you know is an alias made by the man who raised me to protect my identity. My real name is Eleanor. Firstborn princess of the Glean royal family. Or it was before their downfall after the Erd uh, Erdligan War eight years ago. So as the rest of the world knows, I just ended up dropping off the face of the earth. What? Iris, you're royalty? Heard stories of how the royal family met their end, but... I was there, hidden in a closet. I watched as Roman soldiers gutted my father like swine. Everything went black after that. The shock was too much for me to bear. When I came to, I had already been left in the care of society's shadows. Since then, the thought of revenge has been the only thing keeping me going. Revenge against those who pried Glia's crown from my father's cold, dead hands. And revenge on the Cardinal who took his place as if it were nothing. But I could not even manage to do that much. I will not get another chance on his life if I am captured again. Yeah. So I just have to settle for taking yours in his place. Yeah. Nah, you can't do it. 
this really what you want? <laughs> Stay out of my way! This is the only thing I have left to live for. Iris. I understand your pain, your highness. If I may, I'd like to shine a bit of light on your circumstances. Cardinal Linheim. He did everything in his power to try and save the royal family. He what? During the war eight years ago, he sought a path to mediation as a cardinal of the church. He had even exchanged letters with your father, the king of Glia, to that very end. But in their lust for glory, the Roman army turned their swords to fell the royal castle. Your disappearance has haunted him as his greatest regret ever since, your highness. Then, three years ago, the cardinal was set to succeed the previous governor general. He felt it his responsibility as a Roman to restore some measure of peace in this land. And to one day deliver you this letter. The acting governor general hands Iris a sealed letter. This letter? My dear Stellanor, the end of this bloodshed will mark a new beginning for Glia's history. I have secretly made arrangements to secure even the slightest chance of you making it out alive. You are still so young. But I believe a new path for this new Glia lies in your future. As I write this letter, I ask you remember me. Not as a king, but as your father. I love you, my child. My greatest wish, above all else, is a happy life for you. Father, Cardinal Lindheim came across this letter after the war. Since his appointment, we've been told to give this to you should you ever be found. He considered it the least he could do to atone for his failure to intervene. <laughs> Sob. How could I have been so stupid? My father, the man who raised me. I never stopped to think of how they might have felt. For eight years, my only thoughts have been of retribution. What happened to me? Iris, you can't blame yourself. It was eight whole years ago. You couldn't have been older than four or five. Anyone else in your position would have ended up feeling the same way. The new path is still out there. Yeah. A new path, huh? For better or worse, none of your ploys at assassination have managed to succeed. Though the outcome of this attempt is at your intended victim's discretion. What happened here today was nothing more than a little tip. You merely came to receive a letter from your late father, is all. I don't see anything worth reporting about that. Huh. Real slap on the wrist you're giving there. Wish you'd all be that generous about me going feral in town. Made it ruin the moment. Relay this message to Lindheim for me when he returns. I will leave the sovereignty of Glia in your hands. For now. But if I but if ever I see you let the welfare of this land or its people get put into peril, I will kill you dead without a second thought to spare. I'll be sure to let him know. Adol and the others managed to make their escape before the rest of the staff arrived. The acting governor general kept to his word, covering up the incident entirely. Sure enough, no one came in pursuit of them. Yo, G, what a G. The group soon made their return with Iris to tell the others of her true identity. After doing so, she was once again accepted back into the dandelion. Yeah! We got a princess! Because of course we did. Impusa gloves received. Interesting. Boing! There we go. We got all that Nox points. All that Nox. Just Nox it up, brah. Just Nox. I Nox them out. Looks like it's here. Hello. And he left thinking I would never return that I would not be welcome back. And you people drag me back here against my will. I do not know what to think anymore. I just need to sit down and reconsider my life. Yeah, you take your time. That's probably a lot to take in, frankly. Hello there. Show me. Impressive as always, at all. Of course, because I'm amazing. This might be very well be a paradigm. Like Give me. Wanderer cloak received. Seems that the majority of this map has been completed, however, there are many locations outside of town that remain unexplored. We're just seeing what geographical wonders lie in wait. Okay, equip. Um, oh yeah, I need to... Defense by evade rate plus 25. Does evasion, is evasion rate just base chance to not take damage? Or is it, um... Uh, 
or is it increases the timing for fl uh, flash move? Um, you know, what, let's put that on because distance traveled will only be going up basically, so never a problem. And we're going outside into the wilderness, so that will make it even better. Um, let's go to agriculture district. Damn it. Hey, kids! How's it going? Oh, hey, where are you guys out in front of the house for? It's Yufa. What? Hey, don't, uh, me? You're not getting used to getting up to any funny business behind my back, right? We sure aren't. See, El, shush. It's really not all that big a deal or anything, Yufa. We are just thinking of doing some shopping in the main square. That's all. Main square, you're saying? It's not really the sort of place kids should be going by themselves. My thoughts exactly. That's why I always have them go with me or Felix. Not so sure I can right now. We're a little pressed for time. Pfft, who said you had to come with us in the first place? I'm you, bro. Besides, it totally defeat the purpose if you did anyway. Yep, totally. Huh? Why? You guys really are playing something, aren't you? Oh, brother. I think I'm starting to catch on. Well, since we're here, why not? In that case... Are you sure? It's kind of out of the way, isn't it? Well, the short shopping trip shouldn't slow us down too much. I don't see any need for all of us to go, though. Why don't you chaperone them at all? Huh? No, no, I couldn't ask you all to do that. If anything, I should be the one who... Oh, no dig backs. We're going with that all. Yay, congratulations, that all. You can just watch over the place while we're gone, Yufa. Well, since you're always so busy, maybe you can take the time to relax a bit, too. Mm, well, I've been pretty bushed, what with the farm and the bar and all. Still, you three are way too much of a handful for that all alone. You probably... I can go with him. After all, if there's anything I should be able to help with, it's shopping. Then I, too, shall tag along, as it were. Living in Artisan Lane has likely imparted me with some measure of expertise. Wait, so all three of you get to go? Well, if you insist, I guess I could use a break or two. Just make sure to keep a good eye on them out there for me. As for you three, you better be on your best behavior. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh, I love colossal waste of time. Go and go get some shut-eye over there. Always the reliable one. No, well, I guess this isn't exactly his cup of tea. I'll keep an eye on Yufa. I wouldn't be surprised if she snuck off after you. Good luck out there. Yeah. Gamberg family errand. Because obviously we're just going to go buy her a present. Is effectively what this quest is. Ah, uh, yes. I'd surmise that we were unable to ask you this until now. Why is it you wish to go shopping in the main square? Well, we wanted to get some ingredients for making candy. Orange jets, to be specific. The candied orange peels dipped in chocolate. We're gonna make them to give to Yufa. Yep, it's like a thank you gift for all the hard work she does. Mom used to make them all the time back when she was alive. It was Yufa's favorite. That's where we got the idea. I see. A sensible decision. However, I struggle to comprehend the logic behind keeping this a secret from Yufa. Well, things like this are more fun when they're a surprise. You'll get it once you see how happy it makes her. Yeah. Happiness. Is that so? I'll make sure to take note of it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get shopping already! Hold on, Yudes. <laughs> you We should check out what we need to get one more time. Let's see. Got a list right here. Uh, super sweet chocolate, an extra juicy orange, pretty wrapping paper. Oh, I see. It's not a gift if it isn't wrapped, after all. Everything we need should be either on this street or at the marketplace. Shall we begin our search then? Yeah, let's go! Mark, Ood, and L have joined the group. Ood. Does that mean I can't walk up walls? Yes, it does. Because <laughs> not everyone in the group is a monstrum. How's it going? Bye. 
here. Nothing caught your eye. Talk. Sell me a thing. Oh, well, there. Can I help you find anything? I understand you deal in various sundries and daily necessities. That being the case. You got any wrapping paper? Not the pretty kind. Not the, uh, none of that ugly stuff. It gotta be one that Yufu would like, too. I'm not gonna get anywhere asking him like that, you know. Mm, wrapping paper, right? Mm. What do you think of this one here? This design's been pretty on trend for gifts and such lately. Oh, this is a cute one. Look at that floral design. So colorful, too. I think Yufu would like it for sure. Great. We'll take a hundred. Sorry about him. How much for just one? Floral gift wrap. Received. Throw in a ribbon for you, too. Free of charge. Wow, thanks, mister. We appreciate your generosity. My pleasure. Warmed by heart to see them so excited about making a gift for their sister. Feel free to stop by again if you need anything else. Okay. Thanks, bro. You a G. We appreciate it. Um, let's go in here. Yeah, sell me shit. Yes. Uh, resurrect potion. You can just buy a resurrect potion now. Yeah. Means you can just oh, buy. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. That means you can just buy a glass bottle. Hello and welcome to the trading bureau. Anything I can help you with today? Oh, yes. You handle direct imports here at the Bureau, right? Would you happen to have any brand of uh, fine chocolate in stock? Hispanic chocolate's been pretty popular for its intense sweetness lately, as I recall. Well, you're in luck. We actually got a shipment of it in just recently. Would you like to purchase some? Oh, yes, please. Wow, Cresha. You really know your chocolate. Oh, no, it's not that. Peloton sells chocolates from time to time is all. You really know your chocolate latte? That's it Monitor laptop. There we go. Mm, chocolate. I detect the delightful fragrance of, co of cocoa. Yep, this is it, all right. Pair this with some hot tea or coffee and you've got an irresistible combination. Hey, Mark. You can't have any, Al. Need it for the sweets we're making you for, remember? Aww. How's that fair? We bought it, didn't we? No, no. You'll still have some leftover after you're finished. Well, if that is the case, why not make enough sweets for the entire family? Oh, yes, yes! What do you say, Mark? <sighs> Guess I don't have a choice. You for sure takes priority, though. So don't go sneaking any nibbles, okay? Okay! Don't go being an asshole. We're trying to get our sister a gift. Fast travel, going really fast. Oh, I can't, even, I can't even see through walls right now. You. Welcome, well, what can I get welcome, welcome. I'm gonna buy this apple. I'm gonna buy this apple, bitch. Welcome, welcome. Step on in. I just got a fresh shit, but of fruits and oh, whatever. There's a little gam bags. Isn't you for with you today? Nope, she's at home resting. Oh, do you know each other? Yeah, Miss Paulette's been buying our produce wholesale since back when Dad ran the farm. Miss Paulette, do you happen to have any good oranges to make oranges out of? We're thinking of making something to give to Yufa. My, how delightful! Yufa will be pleased as pie, I can tell you that. Though I can't say I'm familiar enough with these fancy sweets to know what works best. Good orange has a nice mix of bitter and sour in the peel to go with the sweet. So generally, the fresher the orange, the better. I see. In that case... My eyes. The third orange from the right on the second row from the back should prove satisfactory. Uh, you mean this one? Well, I be. This orange is remarkably round and plenty ripe to boot. Well, a beauty like this will turn out delicious no matter what you do with it. Wow, that was amazing, Anamona. How'd you know? Anamona, use your powers wisely, okay? Is it not wise to save us undue time and effort? Well, no harm, no foul, I guess. Hey, you are, Mark Deary. Be careful taking it back with you. We will. Thank you. Juicy orange. It's a juicy orange. Gonna get some juice from this orange. Well, that takes care of everything we needed. Thanks for coming along with us, everyone. It was nothing, really. We are always happy to help. Let's get home and start cooking. Yuffa's gonna be so happy. 
Hey, slow down, you two. Oh, pardon me, just a moment. Pardon me, just a moment. Oh, Miss um, Paulette, right? That's right, dear. I'm glad I caught you in time. I forgot to give you these, you see. Take them. On the house. I'd be very appreciative if you could deliver them to you for me. You received some fruit. <laughs> to think those kids would go through all this trouble just to thank their sister. The four of them get along just wonderfully. Little angels that they are. I'm worried when their parents pass, but they truly are a family. Through and through. There's nothing stronger than family. <laughs> True family, huh? I presume you refer to you for having been adopted. Ah, so she's mentioned it to you as well, then. Well, yes. Well, yes, though we don't really know all the details. Well, in that case, perhaps you ought to ask her yourself. It may bring her some small relief to share her past. Hey, Slowpokes! What's the hold-up, huh? We're heading home, remember? Yuva's waiting for us. Let's go. We gotta make some orange jets. With that, everyone made their way back to the agricultural district. While the kids made Yuva's present in secret, the others were tasked with keeping her busy. As they took a short stroll nearby, Adol and the others casually asked Yuva about her past. <laughs> casually. Hey, uh, just one talking about the grass, about the farm, about the... Hey, you're adopted. <laughs> Casual, like. That's right. Never told you about it, huh? I was sent into foster care as a child before my parents found and took me in. In came Mark, Yud, and L. We were raised no differently than any other siblings. Thanks to that, though, the three of them still don't know the truth. Oh. I see. Hmm. <laughs> but, uh, seriously, there's anything worth worrying about. Really. As far as they're concerned, I've never been anyone but their older sister. That's more than enough for me. I mean, I do have to tell them about it someday or another, of course. But, well, it's easier said than done. Yufa, you'll be okay. I, I know it sounds like I'm just saying that. I'm sure they think of you the same way I think of my father and Carla. As I do, as do I for Odario and Melissa. Though the circumstances do differ a bit. At the very least, your connection to them is certainly more than you regard. Yeah. You guys. Aha, there they are. Yufa! Okay, kiddos. Spell. What have you all been up to? Don't think I haven't noticed how much you've been trying to keep me away from... Wait. That smell. <laughs> Here, Yufa. This is for you. Yud's ha Yud hands over the homemade orange that's wrapped in floral paper. Floral paper. These are... They're... Just like Mom used to make. That's right. They're orange... Uh, orange... <laughs> orange jets. Orange Jets! Your favorite, Yufa! It's just... I want to thank you for looking after us and all. It's not for any special occasion or anything. Just, you know, because... I noticed you've been working harder than ever lately. With the farm, with work, and... I'll be a bunch of other things we don't even know about, too. <sighs> Listen, all we're saying is... Try not to overdo it, okay? Remember, me, Mark, and I are always here for you. Dad and Mom, too. Yep, you'll never get rid of us, no matter what. You guys. Aw, they're the sweet siblings. Just when did you all get so grown up, huh? I can't take it anymore. Come here, you little rascals. Hugs. <laughs> hey! You can't breathe. Deal with it. You're getting a mega hug whether you like it or not. <laughs> Mega hugs are so warm. Is this what families are supposed to do? Well, there you have it, Anamona. The power of a good surprise. Indeed, helping them was well worth the effort. Meh, got some good sleep out of it at least. <laughs> Kratos is such a downer, and I love it. Afterward, Yufa shared the fruits of her siblings' work for everyone to enjoy. After eating their fill of a heartwarming, if questionable tasting, snack, they resumed their activities once more. <laughs> Indeed it did. Apple times 20 received. Flour times 20 received. Mushroom times 20 received. Red meat times 20 received. White meat times 20 received. We got so much ingredients of the food. 
Um, okay. Jumping over that guy. Hey, how's it going, bro? Yeah, see that. Sounds clear. What's going on here? Sounds like a pretty serious conversation. Wait a minute. It's not the same peeping Tom from before. Seems he managed to slip away. Maybe another portal to the trick. You're right. It's the same guy. But I'm. I don't know. It's not like we've heard any other incidents since. It's not really anything to accuse him of if we report him to the soldiers now. I'm kind of curious what they're talking about. I guess we gotta pretend we heard Jack. Uh. Oh, it seems we have guests. Oops, uh, sorry guys. Works not the place for private combos and all that. Come on, the old man here. Got any business to take care of? Go ahead. Good work I see, I see. Give me something. That brings your total discovery to the 15. Thanks, man. Uh, don't worry, I didn't forget your award. Give me. Warlord Elixir! That's what I like to see. If you find any more landmarks, just swing by and let me know. Can't wait to see what you come across next. Nice. Warlord Elixir. That's a good one. Uh, box base max SP five, yeah. So I almost have a full circle, which is very nice. Um, okay, and that's where that Nox is. There's nothing else to do other than go over there and actually do the Nox, which is good. Da ba da 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 ba dee da dee ra na da da ba da 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 ba da da ba da 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 Wait, wait, what is it? It's at 86, so if I use it once, twice, three times... 74, okay. That's gonna level up pretty darn quick. And I can just do that to level up artificially whenever it's available. Ooh! You tried to attack me. Uh, actually, if I'm just on here. Oh, no, it doesn't. I was I was hoping that it would also restore the um, the skill, but I guess they didn't want that because that would even more trivialize it. Like that would trivialize it more than the the wasps in Lacrimosa Adana. <laughs> Like, if you just stand on one place and just fire it off over and over and over again, you know, yeah, it would be pointless. Residual enmity lingers in the air here. You shouldn't just leave it this be. Okay, this is a siege. Um, a miasma of in the Melian Plains. The intense clash between Monstrum and Lemures continues even beyond the walls of Aluk. Uh, recommend a level 50. Uh, enhanced retro relics, um, that's fine. Um, so we got... This is the last level for Sphine. Last level for those two. So, honestly, if I want to get all these up and then I can just save my money um, after that, that would probably be best. Um, yeah, so let's challenge. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Boom, boom. Bada bing, bada boom. It's time to go. I didn't see how many waves there were in this uh, one. Hmm. It's the Grimwald Nox again. Indeed. A new path should open once we overcome this. Yes. There's something here that's more powerful than anything we've seen so far. I can feel it. Hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. At all. We don't know what we're dealing with. Let's be careful. Yeah. I agree. Let's do this siege. The time is nigh. Under the red moons, the wicked and the defiant shall be punished. Ascend into this unbreaking night. Unsheath your curse and smite the darkness. Will do. You got it. Don't have to ask me twice. Protect the Sphine from the Lemures. All those decoys in front of the thing. Couldn't put one behind it. Almost wish you could, like, choose where to put them. God damn.
that extra XP. Because my HP is... Uh, Sacramentos. Grand drop rate. This is actually a good opportunity to get um, uh, to get the uh, better uh, items. How about a little wrap down to help with the stress? Okay, Krisha, concentrate. Uh, come on. I ended up being good, so I'm gonna head off for Have a good night, guys, and great day. Thank you very much, and I hope your internet gets better. <laughs> yeah, I was getting, uh, like, chat reconnection messages earlier, so I wonder if maybe Twitch is having a weird thing with it. Because it, like, didn't stop my stream, but it was just. An ambush. You must remain calm. This wave two. That extra XP. Is everyone okay? Bunch of that bonus XP. We need to push back. Gonna do that immediately. Get it because just guaranteeing that I get that bonus. Flash move is probably the best thing you can do against those guys. No reason not to use this if it uh, reloads so quickly. part about these guys is that they're um is that they're hitting the sphene because they just have general aoe attacks not because like they're actually targeting it good work everybody almost there i think the sphene does in fact get health back slay the lord of the night sure Just popping so many skills right now. SP zero is amazing. Also, do I not get any? Okay, flare shot level two. That was good. 
Light up, light up the gong again. <laughs> that one was not bad. The Sphine took damage, but I don't think it got below, like, like, one of the ticks. So we should be fine in terms of uh, S ranking. I also made sure I got, like, the bonus XP for, like, the super move every single round. So that should add up as well, just in case. Um, and the decoys were, like, all alive. Uh, yeah, so we should be fine. Dogie, man. Morbahan! Yo, man! J good job, Morbahan! Yes! Night Frost Beauty, Crimson Spar, Soul Lumber, Tempest Elixir, Diglum Core, Bitter Remedy, Top 6, nice. Life Elixir, thank you. That's great. That's a lot of good shit right there. Another S rank. That's what we want. The Grimwald Nox. This brings to mind the depiction on the murals in the catacombs. Indeed it does. Judging from them, the Grimwald Nox must be a recurring ancient phenomenon. What is the Grimwald Nox really? You could say it was constructed in order to purge the world Grimnir created. Hmm. Interesting. Grimnir. That's the chief god of the Norse religion, ain't it? What's your angle, Aprilis? It's been like pulling teeth with you. So what's with the change of heart? Hmm. I simply felt it was the right time. I believe you're now ready to hear what I have to tell you. Ooh, Lord Dump. This better be worth the wait. Lord Dump, Lord Dump, Lord Dump. What did you mean by purge the world? Since humans first walked the earth, they have defiled it with their evils. Hatred, sorrow, greed, despair. Each warping our perception of the world. Although the world itself remained unchanged, the cynicism of mankind festered. Hmm. This enmity accumulates quickly and is difficult to dispel. When left to amass, it eventually gives rise to monsters. In ancient Glia, they called them Lemuries. Hmm. And we've been fighting them this whole time. Lemuries are the culmination of the residual enmity of humans. Yes. Long ago, with Grimnir as their leader, the gods descended upon this land. Hmm. They created a place where they could purge the evils born from humans to restore peace. They called that place the Grimwald Nox. Okay. So that's where it came from. But the ones fighting in the mural were Grimnir's demigods. Does that mean we're fighting in place of the gods who are no longer here? That is partially true. One can easily imagine the consequences of leaving the Lemuries unimpeded. All semblance of order in Glia would utterly vanish. That's terrible! Crimson King, you will find what remains of the truth within the prison. Interesting, okay. So, once again, God, just kind of real. <laughs> like, Grimnir, real. <laughs> just, a, just, a, just a real deity, as, as it were. There are a lot of gar gods in this world. <laughs> so there is something there. Or you could just tell us now and save us all the trip. I've already told you. You must see the truth for yourself before making your choice. You've all prevailed through much already. I have faith that you will continue to do so. Now then, I bid you all good luck. That teleportation circle looks similar to the one that uh, Jules' dad used. Hmm. Mm, peculiar, peculiar. It appears the barrier to the quarry has now dissipated. All right, we can get through now. So the Grimwald Nox exists to dispel negative emotions. I never could have imagined. <laughs> We're killing sadness. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't believe it either. But I still don't get what the prison has to do with it. Then again, that cesspool of negative emotions mm. is a prime breeding ground for Lemiri. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. That is unlikely to be the only reason. Well, we're not learning anything by just standing around. The sooner we get there, the sooner we can find out. Yeah, so let's go explore. Okay, so now the question is, did this barrier get lifted? 
No, this one's still here. Might require another Nox uh, thing. So what I'm actually gonna do is I want to check that out. But let's do that. Um, we're just gonna come to Central District quickly. Do like a do some rounds of the small uh, Nox things. Uh, down over here. Six. Uh, over there at the middle of the thing. There's probably like a best loop for these. Seal, whatever. That guy's just still there waving his hand. Doesn't realize that we just killed some demons, some emotion demons, right by him. Um, okay. I also want to Welcome buy... Yeah, because I need to check out the uh, shopkeeps, because they do have the unique uh, present items that I didn't think to uh, check Come before. Come again soon. Or some of them do, at least. Please, looking for While they're here. Specific? Justice Blue, Adol. Oh, that one's special. Jade Black, Unfading Hide, Relic Bone. Anything else, uh, Catcher? I hope to see you again soon. Find every ticket. Come back soon, you hear? Uh, okay. Wasn't. Oh, was that middle one already back? Damn. Hey, I come back quick. And I wonder if they make the respawn on the uh, Lumure fight so fast because the um, because the expectations that you would grind out for the uh, the monstrums in some cases or the Noxes. Chances are these. Yeah, it's probably a little bit easier not having to deal with a effing river. Monstrums are doing their part. Look, Three. Where are the red dots? 
traps. Come on. Come on, guys. Yep, there's one in there. Yeah, come on. You would think getting into the Colosseum would be a little bit easier with your not <laughs> with your monster and powers. But specifically the Crimson Line that makes it easy. Let's take them out. Sixty-seven. Monstrums. is detected. Good. Seventy-two. Strength elixir. Oh yeah, I got elixirs. Good remedy. Two, three, four, five, six. Give me that HP. Give me that strength. That's what we want. We want all that good strength. Doesn't take too long. And just each one gives you about three or six, I think, if it's one of the uh, red ones. So you don't have to take too long doing them, which is nice. And if you do it in a place like this, where there are multiple and they're kind of centered around like a circle, then it's... And when you have so much SP, to be able to kind of just mash out skills and then they're going to be gone at the end of it. It's like, oh yeah, no. it's pretty, it's pretty quick. And yeah, this is a this is a good loop spot. That's a good AOE to do it with as well because it just pulls them all in. Like it, it seems to have like a circle radius around you, like a or more like a sphere. Circle would be wrong uh, connotation. Let's keep this short. Not enough dimensions. Right, because it's like drawing all of them in, and even though it's not like super effective damage on them, it's still good enough. 92. Yeah, I'm doing this because it doesn't seem like there's... Like, there is a quest out there. Um, you know what? Yeah, there is a quest out there, so I'm gonna... gonna do that, because that'll help as well. Sacramentos, King of Hands, Eerie as it sounds. <laughs> Why do you think they call it that? We're standing on a mass graveyard. You yeah, guys look interesting. this elevation makes it a key defensive position during wartime. Let's take a break. Wartime, war, war never changes. I presume that this is a upsloping area that we can't do shit about. Probably. Yeah, there is. Treasure chest. Life elixir. We'd like to see that. Right now, I'm just taking advantage of my big mapping. Uh, big mapping eagle eye. Have some fun. Yeah, here we go. Hey, man. Hmm, not this tree either, it seems. Given the water quality and climate, this is without a doubt the proper habitat. Oh well, look who it is. Professor Valen? What are you doing all the way out here? Ah, the, the monstrums! What are you doing all the way out- Ooh, Wait, no, how do you even know my name? 
I'm in the middle of an important expedition, so if you'd be so kind, it's not just me. Huh? It's got his dander up. Wait, is it because we're in our monstrum forms? You mean he doesn't know about us? But that would imply Silhouette hasn't told him yet. Yeah, it seems like that's the case. Staying quiet was the safer, it was the safer choice. Indeed, the professor is perhaps a bit too interested in us monstrums. Well, now I've got to deal with this instead. So thanks for that. Actually, since I am, in fact, still listening, I believe I've figured the gist of things. You lot must all be members of the Dandelion in some way or another. That is not an inaccurate assessment, generally speaking. Gracious, you should have known something was afoot when you granted Silhouette refuge. Nevertheless, as I've already mentioned, I am currently engaged in a matter of utmost import. Not to say I'm disinterested in you monstrums, but would you mind leaving me for now? But what about all the monsters around? You're dangerous, even for us. We can't just leave you all by yourself out here, Professor Valon. That's right. Think of how Silhouette would feel about this. She wasn't her usual self this morning, so I tried to hear her out. I know you fought after brushing her off for being worried about you getting yourself hurt. I don't know what you're after here, but I do think you should go apologize to her. Yeah, I won't make any excuses. But that simply isn't enough. It's taken me ages to find any vegetation here in Keening Highlands as it is. Those tree nuts of legend have to be around here somewhere. They must be. Nuts of legend? Is that what you came out here to find? We know about some legendary nuts. They let us speak to trees. For what reason, if I may ask? Well, acquiring them is the only way to prove the veracity of my research. As such, I cannot give up on this. I must locate them, no matter what. Looks like he said on doing this if it kills him. And it just might. I'll admit, though, the legend he mentioned does pique my interest. Pretty sure I'm interested in- I'm pretty interested in this myself. Yeah. Seriously, at all? Then again, I guess it would be the fastest way to deal with this. I think we should help, too. What do you say, Professor Valen? We find those tree nuts for you. We head back to the city. If you can find them, let me to tell you what I know. The particular tree I'm seeking is one of, upon which golden nuts grow. It must be in the Keening Highlands, from what I've gathered from the myths in my almanac. Not that I expect very much out of you, but best of luck to you, all the same. Gotcha. We'll get right on it. Tree stumped. It's right over there. The treasure chest. Uh, so... Yeah, it really is nice that it's just the entire like, mini-map that gets discovered instead of it being, like, a, uh, just a portion of it. Because it really makes it a lot easier to kind of, like, map this kind of stuff out. It's like, oh, yeah, you know, as long as my mini-map covers it, it's getting picked up. A flash move makes you go, like, really fast when, you, when you're, like, comparing movement speeds. Like, they were stopped, basically, in, uh, for all intents and purposes. They were just not moving. Yeah, no. Something's here. Okay. Let us go, this is just to kind of clear out the stuff, because now there's only the stuff in the middle. Okay. Let's get you guys. Oh, there's a thing riding a goblin. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay, I just thought it was a weird thing with a backpack. <laughs> didn't realize that it was a mount. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. I was like, what the hell is that thing on their back? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a goblin person. Okay, okay, I see, I see. <laughs> makes a lot more sense now. 95,000 gold. Yeah, I don't need the gold drop thing on. Golden nuts. Something's there. Let us go, Adol. Something's here. Exam in the tree. Hey, look. Those nuts growing up there. They're gold, right? Yeah, this is one strange tree, too. Never seen one like it before. You think it's the one Professor Valen was looking for? Yeah, it must be. Come on, let's go back and tell him about it. Oh, yes, there's no mistaking it. 
These are, in fact, the golden nuts spoken of in the old legend of Norse. Awesome. Guess it was worth helping him out after all. What is this legend anyway? You mean... I'm rather curious myself. It's the least you owe us for having gotten you this far. <laughs> I suppose it wouldn't hurt for me to enlighten you as compensation. Centuries ago, before the Hundred Years' War, evil spirits were said to roam this land. Among the people of that era were those with the ability to see them. It was deemed a boon from the Norse gods. Some granted it served as their oracles. But many others were consumed by terror instead, their hearts falling ill. In their compassion, the gods bestowed them what would be called the Tree of Serenity. The nuts it bore held the power to suppress their gift, granting them temporary reprieve. Oh. I assume you already know about my assistant's, uh, ocular condition? Indeed. Though she is not a monstrum, she still bears the ability to see the Lemures. Not that we have any idea how it works. Going by your story just now, I think I can guess. Yes, an inquiry into her lineage revealed a distant ancestor of her to be a Norse oracle. For reasons yet unknown, their ability to see these monsters has reawakened within her. However, it is my belief that with these nuts, their aberration can in fact be constrained. I see. So, in other words, you were doing this for Silhouette all along. Oh, come now. Simply poses an issue for my assistant to live in fear of every shadow. Aw, oh, come on, Professor. Be honest with yourself. Why don't you come clean about to her, huh? Tell her how it is you really feel. There are most certainly no such feelings of which to tell. Silhouette's just... Well, she's like family to me. And thus the cat has been let out of the bag, so to speak. Whereas cowgirl here probably stuck in will-they-won't-they-won't they won't mode forever. What? Hey, don't drag me into this. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Felix. Take the bull by the horns. You propose, man. Uh, returning to the topic at hand, what exactly do you plan to do from here? Bring the nuts to Silhouette, perhaps? No. This much will do for now. According to the Norse scriptures, a ritual must be performed to harvest the nuts. Failing to follow the proper process will cause the nuts to lose their potency. I'll have to head back to town in order to make a few preparations. As such, I will be counting on you monstrums to guard the tree until the harvest. That wasn't part of the deal. We have things to do, too, you know. Even should the beasts feed upon them, there will surely be plenty to go around. Hmm. Suppose you may be right. I get it. You want to keep it extra safe for Silhouette, right? 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 <laughs> right? You lot will never let that go, will you? Using a side, why don't we bring him back to town for now? Whoopee, another escort mission. Let's just get this over with. I think it's not actually an escort mission. And his companions come to Professor Valen as town soon after. Upon hearing the details of the situation, so it readily welcomed him back. What time we Tree finished. stumps complete. Temper elixir. Nice. Or tempest elixir. Choose a point to resume from. Um. Yeah, sure. Because that's going to happen anyway. Nice. Good. Okay, so that's the other end. Wanted to go there regardless. Bum, 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 ba -dum -dum. Finally, a chance for some real fun. A chance for some real fun. Um, okay. So, that's there. That's blocked. I have detected something. Okay, so that's all mapped and discovered. And that was blocked. Okay, good. Going down here. Thanks if we're looking 93.7 discovered. Well, that's almost already halfway discovered, so ain't much, ain't much rest to, or left to the rest of that. Uh, skills, you got nine years are level three. My turn. Just do that real quick. Stray cat. Okay. Uh, party. Good. Okay. She just wanted to make sure she wasn't basically wasting moves and stuff. Okay, Rizzo, how many links of the ancient leave this bay? 
Okay, 51, purge. Okay, the model of Eos in the Malayan Plains, showing each and every lag of to achieve the monster's objectives. Go our Munt Marsh. Uh, Hands Retro Relics. What the hell? Okay. Um, that cost him Soul Spar. I guess I didn't. Um, yeah, when I go. When I get out of here, maybe what I'll do is I will. Um, upgrade. Probably. Musketeer. And then also Sphine. Because Sacred Branch is pretty cheap. If I remember right. Challenge. Let's do it. Just gotta break all the just gotta break all the things. So that's not it's not too difficult. Because once enough of them get broken, usually it summons the boss. Um unless it's one of those ones that enforces the break all of them like the one at the Coliseum. But that was probably a uh, that was probably an outlier rather than a new standard. Smite the darkness! The nice thing about the purge ones is like you can like they are faster than the wave ones just because of the way that they exist. Shall we get started? Up to you, Jewel. Oh, I can run into them now. That's so much better. I just realized that. That is so nice. Is everyone all right? Okay, I thought the thing had a lot more health. I guess not. My turn. Okay, good. Yeah, so these are a lot more. These are a lot simpler now that I don't have to actually attack. I can just run into. <laughs> I can just run into them. I'm glad I noticed that. Impressive. That is act. That's so useful. <laughs> yeah, that is like the best sacramental for those. Especially in areas like this where it's like you don't need a lot of jumping, you can just run. Oh, that's fantastic. Good. Splut shot, midnight sun. Junk clerks are doing bitter. Tempest clerks are crimson spar, nice. Oh yeah, I got crimson spars, not soul spars. Nah, whatever. Whatever. That's all that matters. Um, okay, good items. One, two, three, four, five, 
Six. More HP. More strength. Ooh, look at this place. This place is cool looking. Oh, this place would have been perfect for the, uh... Uh, would have been perfect for the, um, quest, the shield quest. Pocket the Judgment. Okay. Uh, items. Sacramental slot. Scripture your guidance, understanding the judgment humans are inherently born in. Nice. That's great. Um, yeah, give me more rare item drops. Huh? Did not realize that you were a, uh, an enemy. But whatever. I have detected something. Okay. Can't run up that. Have to I guess jump from a certain place. Or is there a canyon wall? Yes, kind of. Hunter's descent. Hunter's descent. Okay. Well, this comes in through here. Curious as to what's actually up here. Ah, chest. Good. Treasure chest. Defense elixir. We love it. We love it. Give me more defense. Um, okay. 100% of the plans explored. Good. Uh, still have to discover the thing over here. But I think I have to do that from up here anyway. Because... It seems like the kind of... Oh, I guess not. Okay. I guess I have to jump from here. Go to the first mushroom. Yeah, okay, I was making it a little too... I was, I was overcomplicating it. Mushrooms! Oh god, looks like it has a face. Mushroom Mimetaliths. Okay. Interesting. Okay, good. So now we can come back to Ancient Battlefield. And we can run across over here. Because now I get to keep my uh, get rare items thing on, which is going to be nice. And while also keeping every other good thing on. So that was actually like a great pickup. So I was gonna, I was like, oh, what do I, what do I need to have? Because I need to keep the gift increase one on. Like that's just default, imp like improved speed at which your gift comes back. Oh yeah, no, that's staying on 100%. Then run speed also staying on all the time. Like you'd be a fool to take that off ever. Um, but what happens is that means that's your last slot is now the one that everything else has to buy for. Now I have a second Emerald slot. Nox is a place that gathers Something's enmity here. from people, right? Do you think Aprilis fought there by herself during the Erdlingen War too? Probably. And there must have been a lot more Lemurians at the time. Yeah, that makes sense, because negative feelings probably, you know, centered around a prison and also in in a war. Right? That would that uh, has the uh, makings for not happiness uh, very clear and obvious. 
Um, okay. Okay, so that's... This is optional. Oh, this is more discovery based. Yeah, okay. There we go. Come over here. Three thousand gold. Excuse me while I just pillage you. Gonna slip on by. Let us go, Adolf. Gonna break your rocks as well. I guess there's a chat. I can get that afterwards. I, have I, need, to, I need to drop down for it. Sorry, better stuff to get right here. Smoked meat. And that sun drop. Okay, that's falling down as well. So we're gonna hold off. There doesn't seem to be many ways to get up, so I want to make sure I get everything that is up before I get anything that is down. Gotta get up, get up, get down. There's an order to things. Before you can fall, you have to be standing in the first place. Very slowly running, but still doing damage. A treasure chest. Good full potion. Nice. Uh, and that means everything has kind of been explored on the top, which is all that matters. Glide is still full speed, which is nice. Okay, need to be careful of those uh, those worm things. Don't want to deal with them, honestly. Hello. Copper ore. shot here. doing it for the skill uh xp flare shot yeah dude <laughs> having the plus four xp really makes it a lot uh quicker in all ways <laughs> i think uh what was it i think it was in like uh, it was in donna where it maxed out at plus three i don't think there was a uh a plus four skill item so I'm happy. I'm happy that they were like, you know what? Like, yeah, let's just let's do a plus four. I, if they don't, if they don't have a plus five, that wouldn't surprise me, because it's like plus five would make it very fast, like fast enough to the point of like, well, <laughs> does the skill even need to be leveled? I mean, it does. Um, but it would just happen very quickly. Which I guess is what you kind of want the later on in the game you go, because you want the skills that you have to be leveled. So giving you the plus five immediately helps you get them kind of up to snuff. Not immediately, but having the plus five when you get the new skills helps you get them up to snuff. Amber Shawl. Okay, so that should be good. Okay, so she mastered a skill. He's still learning. Uh, you uh, you maxed that. You have Fox Trot Blade on. Uh, yeah, so use. use oh wait, you already have Capelli Order on. Mistral Epe, Fox Trot Blade. You don't have Cavalry Waltz. There we go. Leave it to me. Let's go. Here. Chest. 
Frost Beauty. And... I'm really just being a menace to all the to all this wildlife because I'm just like, oh yeah, you know, come out, pop a few fireballs at him and leave. It's like, yeah, I don't care about them. I just want I just want to hurt them. I want to I want to test myself on them, but not test myself in like a like a warrior way, just more like a experimental scientist way. Or it's like, ah oh, yeah, you know what? Like I need to see what this does to you. <laughs> I need to see how much it actually hurts you. You're not gonna have a problem with that, right? You're, you're gonna be fine with that. Be using you like an experimental guinea pig. Yeah, sure. Yeah, good. Um, okay. I probably have to go up over here again, right? How did I get up on top? Is it from over here? Do I just run and jump? There's that thing over there. Well, there's a teleport. So that's good. And that's also blocked off. So I know there's a way to get up. I know I was up, but maybe I wasn't up enough. Cool. Where did I get up? I need to be up over here? Maybe. Off we go. Yeah, no, wait, that's far too far. Maybe I haven't been able to get up on this side yet? Hunter's descent. Yeah, no. Yeah, it might be... Might be mixing up my... Things that I've done. I said, no, those stuffs are broken. I have to imagine I haven't actually gone up there yet. Yeah. Well, no, I have to have gone up there because I opened the I opened the chests. So that's already immediately wrong. Hmm. Ugh, gotta love it when <laughs> when you mess things up. Absolutely fantastic. You walk around being like, okay, how do I do this? I know I fell down here. But where did I come from? Master Flare Shot. Uh, it's a pretty good skill. Honestly. Um, yeah, you know, I like, like a new skill, Marionette String. I like to see that. I could have sworn that I get up over there and run down. Did I get up in the middle and jump, maybe? Hmm. Oh, well. You can figure that out later. Because it's like, oh yeah, I, I guarantee there's just like one up point. <laughs> And that's the annoying part, because it was like, I remember running up the rock wall. I don't remember where I ran up the rock wall. Um, and it's like, oh, how convenient that all of these are... Every single one of these is not uh, able to be run up. Except for this. I kind of wish you could do like a like a Mega Man esque jump, like go back on the wall multiple times. Yeah, don't know how I did it. Eighty percent explored makes sense because that's all blocked off. Uh, okay. <laughs> 
Actually, you know, I want to find... Because you know, I'm going to end the stream prior to going in that doorway. So I want to find how to get up there. It's annoying me now. Because I imagine I got up over there and it's expecting you to go all the way across. But... Doesn't seem... I think that's what they're looking for. Hmm. Ah. Can you guys leave me alone, man? Just trying to have the time. Okay. Hmm. Uh, is it this? Yeah. That wall looks... Hmm. You can't run up the trees, right? No, you can't. Wish you could. It would make sense if you could. down there. Huh. How did I get up there? <laughs> it really wish I didn't fall at this point. Because, uh, now I'm... I am confuzzled. Beyond belief, frankly. I am... I'm surprised that it is befuddling me so much. Did I run up here and then jump across? Yes, that's how I did it. That's how I did it. Okay. Perfect. Of course, I had to get on the, the, the single pillar. They really... They really let you only have the one. Couldn't have given you multiple. <laughs> Just the, the one way up. Yeah. I will say that's probably one of the more obvious things where it's like, okay, now that you're farther in game, we don't want you to have, like, super free exploration, so we're going to continuously give you areas that either have the overhangs, like, and that, and that, I think I talked about how having, like, a lot of, uh, verticality is nice, but at the same time, it's like, okay, you're going to give me open, open wide areas, and you need to block off ninefold falls, okay, one, two, three, four, five, nice. six, seven, eight, nine, okay, yeah, I guess there are nine waterfalls for the falls. Um, it's like, oh yeah, because we need to give you some reason not to just run over literally every obstacle. It's like, oh yeah, we're going to make sure that all these cliffs, conveniently, none of them are flat up and down. They're all overhang such that you can't run up them vertically. And it's like, okay, okay, I, like, I know what you're doing here. I get why you're doing it. Still wish you weren't. But... I can kind of forgive you for it. Okay, and then Acid Ray. Okay. Let's save. And this is where I'm going to call a stream because I've been going for three and a bit hours. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for everyone. Uh, th thank you very much for everyone. Thank you very much, everyone, for dropping by. It was nice talking to you all. Thank you. Keeve and Fontana for the raid, and Dex for uh, keeping me company. Um, hope you all have a very nice night, and will join me on Friday when I'm back with some more Xenoblade. Bye! <laughs>